Particle cannon activated.
Particle cannon activated. Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another live stream. Big one for you today. We've got Big Size against Fargo. Best of 13. And we are on time. Size just finished... My fake name. Size just finished a set, I believe, against Lift Truck. I didn't uh, see the result from that, but I assume that he's super warmed up. So as against Fargo, we've got a bunch of um, newish maps, same as we've seen in the last few challenges. AK's magic, size is eating a pizza. <laughs> I think he, he plays zero to earn money. <laughs> to pay for pizza. He's on his last slice, apparently. <laughs> Okay, still waiting for Fargo to join. Just gonna ask Fargo where he is. Okay, this guy in the chat, Salah Eden Davas, every comment from you is just weird. If it continues, I'm going to just mute, uh, well, ba ban you basically from the chat. Every single comment. <laughs> you just write utter nonsense and fill the chat with nonsense. Right, okay, uh... AK's Magic V7, I believe, is map number one. Let's check. This is $20 sponsored by um, Ahmad Sabora. First match is China Mirror. On AK's Magic. Fargo's both in the chat and in the match. <laughs> That's why I have a stream delay. <laughs> yeah, I've actually just come from playing a different game, actually. I just came from playing Global Conflagration. I was playing against the developers, or the developer and some of the people who've been testing the game. We had some pretty good battles. I did a video on that recently in case you haven't seen it. But unfortunately, there's no resource collection in it. And no free doses and workers. You have to capture points to end resources. Okay, waiting for size to take his army. AK's magic. China Mirror in game number one. And then uh, game number two. It'll be Air Mirror on uh, AK's magic. Yeah, Salah, I'm just gonna ban you for like a few months. Until he's calmed down with a laughing emoji. <laughs> hey, 
right here. Jack Daniels in the chat. Nice name. He said it's a sponsored challenge. Yes, it is. Best of 13. First to win seven games. Size has just finished playing lift truck. I didn't see the result, but I saw at one point it was like 2 1. For size, but I didn't check the rest of it. Fargo is a vegan. I was going to ask if uh, size had like meat meat on his pizza, <laughs> but seems like size has already mentioned the vegan. <laughs> Yo, welcome everyone in the chat. Uh, stream delay is like a minute and a half. Size says if you even want to set in 2024. I don't know, actually. I haven't been paying attention to uh, Fargo sets. Maybe he did lose the lift truck then, size. I don't know. Raymond Lowe says, how many GGs in this game? Uh... Size versus Fargo Classics. We cheer for Fargo. Game wouldn't be same without him. And we love you, Dommy. Best streamer around. <laughs> love listening to your English accent. D many love. Yo, Dean, thank you very much for the donation. Appreciate that. Cheering for Fargo. Fargo's excited today. Oh, sorry, it wasn't Dean. It said D at the end, wasn't it? Uh, St Stray Heart, Battle for Middle Earth 2. Thank you very much for the donation. I thought it said Dean, many love <laughs> on the voice thing. Okay, so. So I says, let's say how long you last this year. My record is May when I knocked you out for four months. Yeah, we are 10 minutes late now. Raymond Lowe says, how do you add sponsor money? You can uh, either send it directly to the player after. You can add me on Discord and we'll sort it out. Or you can... Yeah, actually, we prefer to do that. Add me on Discord. Jo join my Discord channel. Add me on there. Tell me in the chat how much you want to add. Because I, I don't really like it when people use me as a bank and like they send me money and then I have to transfer it to the players or whatever. <laughs> I prefer it if it goes directly to the players. Up at the top right then. Sai says, you play like it's your first week of Zura every time. Up at the top right, we have the China Vanilla for the blue player that is Fargo. Down at the bottom left, we have the orange player, also the China Vanilla. This is Big Size. Size going for barracks first, as is Fargo. King Cade says he's been banned for four months on the account I am not for no reason. Yes, on the other screen I will unban you. We did have a change around of moderators, by the way, because I know some people were being a little bit overly harsh. Uh... Uh, 
So Fog is on two war factories, getting his oils and repairing. All right, I am not account is unbanned now. Uh, Fargo's also looking like he's going to get these two bottom right oils as well. Remember, this map is based on a League of Legends map. I can't remember the name in the League of Legends map. But the river all the way in the middle, just like on League of Legends, you can um, pass over it. Fargo was actually killing the flamer just fine there, but then he ran his outpost into the flame wall for some reason. Raymond though wants to sponsor him for the next Excal game. Well, actually, I want to make Excal against Vivid. So if you want to sponsor that, add me, uh, join my Discord channel and add me as a friend on Discord. And we'll sort it out. That'll be the next one, I think. Excal against Vivid. So Size has both of his oils, three supplies, building a prop. He's been the more aggressive so far. Fargo has three war factories. Remember, Fargo has these bottom right oils, so even though he's lost one of his own, he actually has the bottom right one. Flaming down to the bottom right is going to take out the... Uh Oh, not going to take out the oils, actually. Sai is going to leave it. He has a red guard there, and I have no doubt a Lotus will be on its way. Fargo applying some pressure down the middle. Lotus is going to disable an outpost. Sai is looking to expand up at the top left. Fargo's held everything on his side. Sai is capturing one of the oars down at the bottom right. Quite a lot of flame is from Fargo. Size so choosing to build a bunker up on the top left. I actually think a Gatling cannon there would have been nice, actually. Gatling cannon is good against pretty much everything. Size so loses the barracks that was built up on the top left to the flamer. Helix being prepared in the base of a size. Loads of tank enters, indicating he's going to have at least two helixes. Size is dozer up in the top left. Gets picked off. There was a little secret in this map. An unintended secret. That Excalibur Marikar will know about. When a carpet bomb hits there, a, a nuke went off randomly in the Excalibur against Marikar set. <laughs> we watched a couple of those games. Okay, new cannons now out for Fargo. Both of them oils down in the bottom right. It's still alive and now belong to Size. So it was a good idea to Size for Size leaving them alive. I think Mix could be good here. Mix could be very good. You can pick off any of that for free, basically, with Mix. You can counter helixes with the Mix. Fargo hold in the middle. Fargo winning the bottom right side. He needs to capture the uh, oils back. Lotus is already there.
Okay, Lewis has uh, captured one of the oils. Flame is for size. Helix is for size. Size has so many helixes. Oh my god, that could be Fargo just outright dead. Right here, right now. So many helixes in his base. What an amazing play there from size. It's just completely gutted. Fargo's base from the inside. A complete surprise attack. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's actually expanded as well. Everything in Fargo's base is going to get completely obliterated. Gas moving in. He does have chain guns. I'm not sure if he can fight all of them, though. Lixers are getting picked off slowly. Two gas remain. A lot of helixes have been picked off, but four of them escaping. Artillery now coming in for big size on this oil. Is that level three artillery? Looks like level 3 artillery finishes the... Uh, it could have been level 2. Interesting uh, animation going on there. But yeah, I don't know if Fargo can come back from that. Because he's lost pretty much... Well, he had lost pretty much everything in his base. Powers and war factories. He's slowly rebuilding. But Size has used that opportunity to expand up in the top left. Yes, I is now building a Gatling cannon up in the top left. Size still having the uh, oils down at the bottom right. He's reclaimed it. And Fargo just quits out. GG. <laughs> LOL from Size. You have been defeated. Uh, that's funny. What a beast Size is. The uh, the Mega Lixes. Mega Lix surprise attack. Well played. It's going to be an Emma next on AK's Magic again. I'm at Sabor in the chat. Yo, yo. Size is ready with the Air Force. Fargo's still trying to, still thinking about that helix blob on the side of his base. Okay, Amir are next. Yeah, ideally this map uh, will become ranked, which means that it's like quality approved and will count towards the uh, ranked Revora ladder and subsequently get played a bit more often. But um, there's a guy called Cassard. 
who said that this map is too pretty and doesn't fit the theme of other um, unofficial maps. Therefore, it shouldn't be ranked. He said it's basically too pretty and a river you shouldn't be able to go across. <laughs> he only knows fast flowing rivers. He doesn't know uh, shallow, shallow streams. Okay, so up at the top right, we have the USA Air Force for the orange player. This is big size. And down in the bottom left, also with the USA Air Force in the blue, this is Fargo. Now fighting from behind. Before this set, I think he said he had cold hands, 70% headache, and not warmed up or something. <laughs> I'm sure he'll still be fine. Only 1-0 down, he can come back. I'm sure Air Murray is pretty confident in. He's going to go and build a barracks down at the bottom right now. I like that. I, I like building barracks like this, where the oils are, because even if that gets destroyed by King Raptors later on... Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's worked out pretty nicely. Whoa, no, it's not actually. It's not. It's not actually worked out nicely at all. I don't know what happens to that barracks. Because even if that barracks gets killed later on, you still get ranges from it. So there's a high chance you'll still get the uh, get the oils. So, I, yeah, I like that from both players, actually. Size hasn't gone for an expansion supply, but Fargo has. But he's not um, collected from it just yet. He is now. If Fargo looks like he's uh, dominating in that area at the minute, there is a missile defender out now. Dozer gets stopped. There's a drop coming in from size. Is this missile defender? I wasn't watching what he loaded up. Does have something inside of it. It's one ranger from size. And he's going to go and try and capture the supply. Don't know if this is size trolling or if he just. Genuinely, I think this is a good strat. I actually think it could be good because I don't think that range is going to be there in time. And even if he made a dozer from there now, I don't think he's uh, going to be able to stop it. So, I think Fargo needs to sell that. Otherwise, it's going to be a boycott sell, yeah. Why didn't he make the dozer straight away? That's the problem. His size would have captured it. Raptor from size. Two Raptors, rather. Takes out one of the oils. Size has got three oils in the middle, though. So, oils-wise, it's still size with advantage. Got the bit of the terrain there sticking through the airfield, but there you go. King Raptor now taking off for... Fargo coming across the map also from size. Size picking off the uh, proxy barracks. And Fargo moving into the base now with a load of rangers. Size so killing his own oil that he'd captured, but it's because Fargo was going to have it very soon. Size so has expanded up in the top left. Size so loses a uh, dozer, plus a lot of damage there on the power. There's a Comanche out to deal with the rangers. Once he gets picked off, size getting a refinery. He's expanded twice up in the top left. 
And even sending his dozer forward, what's he going to build there? Probably a war factory, I reckon. I think Fargo got slowed down a lot by that su supply getting captured. Ooh, that airfield is low. It goes down. Comanche gets picked off in Sizer's base. Looking very good for size, I think. Fargo will now see this massive expansion up in the top left. Yeah, once that war factory starts rolling uh, Vs into the base, will be a problem. Size just types LOL. Fargo quits that. GG. <laughs> 2 0 there for big size. Yeah, size was massively ahead. Um, Fargo actually started really strong. Like I said, they're down in that bottom right area, dominated that oil area. But then size still ended up with more oils there. Just by capturing the middle ones. Okay, next map will be Yelling Avalanche. Yeah, let's let Fargo choose first since he's behind. He's going to choose Stealth. I, I think it's kind of balanced Stealthy Tank on this map. Uh... Would you still prefer to play the tank? I think uh, t I think tank wins statistically more often against the stealth. From what I've been told. But on this map, it's kind of like good for GLA, isn't it? Because it's so wide and so long. It's quite a big map in general. You can have tunnels here, tunnels here. You can take, take a fight wherever you need to. Whereas the tank does need to commit to one of the sides. But... Um, yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be a, a juicy one. Down in the south, we've got the orange China tank for the player that is big size. Up in the north position, we have the blue player with a GLA stealth selling a CC. This is Fargo. Okay, Fargo going for an oil capture. Yeah, common strat on this map is to send a TNT straight across the map and kill your enemy's damaged oil. That's what he's going for. Size is committing to repairing it with a dozer. I think it will survive. Even with the explosive barrels there, it will still survive. But the dozer will probably die. Um... Okay, Fargo wasn't paying attention there. <laughs> Fargo just control fired it and just left it. That's basically what he did because he's he's busy micro in and um, macro in rather elsewhere. He could have got a dozer for that. Bit of paid attention. Tech RPG death from Fargo kind of fails. Hijacker gets found as well. Nothing here is going Fargo's way. 
That guy shouldn't take the fight. Mm. I mean, at least Fargo's keeping size busy, but everything for, at the start there did not go Fargo's way. But bringing two technicals in here and keeping them RPGs alive does make a difference, actually. Fargo hasn't captured his oil. He's made the rebel, but he hasn't captured the oil. I don't know if he's uh, got the capture upgrade or not. I can't see because he's stealth. I can't select his uh, re rebel to see. He's now getting it. Maybe it was just um, a delayed upgrade. I think Fargo's doing okay, but yeah, losing that hijacker. First technical, not really getting that much done. Wasn't that great. Two technicals are always good against the Chinas. The Ch China Vanilla, China Tank. It's kind of like scuba style. He would do that. A lot of people just send one technical around, but actually sending two means you can always fight a gap with RPGs inside of there as well. Would have been nice for Fargo to get that. Fargo will probably get a super tech here, and less size is going to scrap than I. I don't think he is, though. Yeah, Fargo gets himself a super tech. Looking pretty good, I think, for Fargo now. Despite a bit of a ropey start. Fargo holding the right. The only thing I don't really like about this right side is those two tunnels are not really being supported by that. A tunnel there and a tunnel there would be a better setup, I think, so that the building can fire whilst the tunnels are firing. Yeah, we see now why Fargo chose the stealth. Because it's so wide, the tank has to be in a billion places at once. Bit close there for, for Fargo. Fargo in quite a good position there, especially if he's got RPGs in one of these. Might lose a super tech here, though. You don't want to get uh, overly confident with those. Yeah, size losing a load of stuff. He's pushing a bit on the right. I think Size is going to lose probably his entire base unless he goes back. I think that's GG. I think uh, Fargo's won. He's dropping CCs <laughs> inside of Size's base. I like how there was like a pause on the unit while he dropped the two CCs. You could tell he was microing it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's, it's an insult in Zero to drop a CC <laughs> in someone's base. <laughs> Well, size is losing pretty much everything. I think you'll lose the game just to that blob of units, actually, because these quads are vetted. Yeah, I mean, size is still in the game, but for how long is the question? Fargo dropping down a new line of defensive tunnels. A really good setup against the tank, actually, because wherever size goes, it's going to run into tunnels with RPGs inside of it. Size still in it. He has a dozer. Uh, 
But Fargo could just be making like an insane amount of battle buses, which is exactly what he's doing, actually. All these RPGs are going back to his base. At least this is giving an opportunity for Fargo to warm up. If I was size, I probably would just quit out just to let... Um, just to not give Fargo the opportunity to use this to warm up, because he's clearly warming up into things and uh, getting you confidence. That game was very, very lost, <laughs> as far as I was concerned, from when... Fargo did that big push in the base. For, probably from when the super techs got up, actually. Or one super tech. And one grenade tech. Okay, so now I'll do the reverse. Okay, both players are here. Stealthy tank the reverse. We only seen GG's from size. We've seen two CCs from Fargo and one GG and two LOLs from size. Okay, so down in the south position of Yelling Avalanche by Relax. This is the blue player that trying to tank. This is Fargo. Up in the north position with the GLA Stealth with the orange. This is big size. A casual slave worker just running through the campfire there. We will need some new shoes after that. We've got Fargo going for a more aggressive strat. He sold his CC for a start and doing a forward supply. I like this better from uh, Fargo. I think keeping the CC... Maybe a little bit overconfident from size. Keeping the CC doing one war factory. Size is not opting for the TNT over there. Truck straight to the top right position, actually. Yeah, size realizing what's up has to cancel that supply. This could be Fargo's way back into the set, you know. He's already stopped that supply. He's going to stop that tunnel. Probably going to stop this. Oh, he's missed the worker there. Gets it in the end. But a TNT there has got two trucks of Fargo. That's quite a bad start now for Fargo. That's $1,200 worth of trucks. I mean, it's a bad start for both, really. That supply has been denied, but it can be rebuilt. And Fargo's also lost two trucks. So not the most amazing start for both players. There is a hijacker here from Big Size. I think he should get that flamer because he might be able to stop. We might be able to win the whole game, actually. I don't think, no matter what Fargo does now, I don't think he's stopping that flamer from killing the supply. Yeah, this is kind of backfired now for Fargo. Try, you try to be a bit more uh, aggressive. Which makes your base a little bit more open to attacks. 
and you get punished if it doesn't work out. Yeah, I think that TNT, he just types in hello. You have been defeated. <laughs> no GG's from Fargo. Three LOLs from Size. Two CC's in Size and Space. <laughs> Yeah, it actually looked kind of good for Fargo. Like I said, when he denied that supply up in the top right. But losing them two trucks to one TNT really slowed things down. Okay, what's next? I actually forgot. Uh, demo inf on the Arctic Arena. I like how size just types LOL. <laughs> Size of the mind games. I think he is going to choose the inf first. It's kind of hard for demo here because the um, quads are more expensive. But I suppose inf, inf is also a bit of a disadvantage here because um, miniguns are so expensive, and this map has got a lot of oils on it. I think I think nine oils, the same as uh, liquid gold. Now, is he going to mind game? Is he going to... Has he bluffed there or is he double bluffing? Is he actually going to do a helix? <laughs> Down at the bottom right with the uh, China Infantry, with the orange, this is big size. Up at the top left, we have the demo. Demolition. Jaziz. For the blue player, that is... Fargo. The format of this is just preset matchups and maps chosen by me. And then we've got to decide who's best of 13, first to win seven games. I've tried to choose what I think are interesting matchups on interesting maps just to see if we get um, some GGs. So far, they've all been actually pretty quick. We're already at 3 1 after like 40 minutes so of games. Or probably like 30 minutes of gameplay, actually. Okay, size keeping CC, War Factory Barracks. Size denies a worker up in the top left. Fargo is going for a massive eco boom. And only on one supply, actually. So kind of like a oil rampage build. Tech RPG. 
Fargo is going to hunt a dozer there of Big Size. That's quite a good pick off, actually. Even though we see he's out of the technical, he still took down a uh, outpost for it, which is pretty good. Size so taking out the oils up in the top right. The flamer. Size's barracks there is going to get stopped. Fargo is in quite a few places. Demovite takes out the flamer up in the top right. So only one oil went down in the end. But Fargo is actually going for these oils. Which I think is pretty cool for him. Minigunner versus Rebel inside of the buildings. Refinery are going to get captured for Fargo. Fargo's making loads of Rebels. Has he made them by mistake? Is that meant to be a TNT? Is it meant to be preparing? And is it meant to be rallied back here somewhere? Doesn't make sense to make that many rebels. I don't think, unless he, I don't know, on the artillery platform or something. Okay, size has got in with a few outposts now, actually, causing a few problems. Is Fargo going to be able to deal with that? One of the outposts gets picked off. Size looking like he's going to win this middle oil position. He's already trying to capture it. Oh, there is a booby trap. I thought there wasn't a booby trap place, but actually he had. So now Minigunner gets taken out. Fargo wants this oil with one of his rebels that he made. Does have his refinery. Size has his refinery as well. Artillery platform going to be captured by Size. Yeah, these outposts are kind of annoying. Uh, maybe demo bike and a Jarman could be good for this. If you control fire the ground there, you might have been able to pick off one outpost. But without a Jarman kill and a few demo bikes, these are cool and it could have caused a problem. Fargo seems a little bit unprepared for it. Has a big pop of quads though. Plus the toxin tractor in there. And he repops. But size has a ton of infantry and these quads. I don't think we're used to their best of their ability, actually. The first pop was all right, but then the second one. He's basically lost everything. That outpost remains there, but it's not got any infantry inside of it anymore. Fargo's slowly gaining ground down in the bottom left. The uh, demo upgrade is in play. No demo bikes, no skid launches just yet. From Fargo, size of float at 13k.
Carpet and artillery coming in from big size. That's going to be on the palace. First take out of palace down to the hole. Uh, I mean, hopefully for Fargo, he would have queued up something before the palace went down. I'm thinking scud launches, but he hasn't made any yet. I suppose demo bikes you can still make without the palace. Yeah, kind of even at the minute. I'm tempted to say advantage size, but I don't know, actually. I think it heavily depends on this bottom left area. If size manages to clear that, I think advantage size. But if Fargo holds it... I don't know, it's kind of even in the minute. Oil in the middle will go down. Size is oil lost. Fargo. With a front supply. It's worth noting, size is collecting on that, collecting on that, and has that oil. But Fargo has this bottom left area, so that's why it's kind of even, I think. No AP ammo for um, Fargo. No market drop down, actually, after he built the palace. 26k float from size. <laughs> just casually. There's a rebel inside of the base. He could press I there and just detonate it and kill two trucks. He could move there and detonate it. Why doesn't he do that? He did detonate one trick in the end. Whoa, Fargo popping it off. Only took out one MiG. Didn't lose a ton of stuff for it, though. Tunnel, the RPGs, quads. Fargo suicides a quad to kill the Flamer. Fargo really spending all of his cash. Needs to rebuild that. Size still floating. He was over 21k then. For a second. Size with flamers at the front now. Yeah, one scud launcher would be really good here, but Fargo just... Doesn't really seem interested in making him. And the quads that he's making, he doesn't have AP uh, bullets, so. What should he says, please turn on the music? The music is, is already on. I turn it up a bit. Yeah, Fargo's still holding onto this area down at the bottom left and has the uh, two oils that are there too. Also has that oil at the top, but this one could be doing with uh, being TNT'd. Or just outright killed RPGs inside of this building, could hit it. Yeah, lots of mix for size. Only a bit of veterancy on them. On them. There's like one vet one and another vet one there. So I feel like they've been quite efficient so far, those mix. Scud launcher is finally out. But as I say that, all the mix go in and obliterate it and uh Size clears up everything with fully loaded outposts. Yeah, looking... I thought not that great for Fargo, but he repops another army somehow. Kills his own demo bike with a scud. 
Yeah, my bike's not able to hit the uh, outpost, so I still float in 25k. One mig gets picked off for two quads. Artillery coming in. From size kills the supply. Well, still alive. Angry mob is here. Quad suicided again for the Infernos. Size now uh, spending some more of his cash. Only a 17k float now. Oh, that's where the carpet was. Killed a couple of quads. Loads of MiGs now for size. I think Fargo is going to get cleared from this position. Lotus is going to capture this oil. Sizes uh, trucks are going to go for an adventure and they're going to pay the price with their life. Size making a nuke and hackers now. Blower stops some of the army there at big size. Makes coming in. EMP is disabled. A ton of stuff here at Fargo's. Yeah, the MiG's doing some quite good work throughout this. We've got a Vet 2 MiG now as well. You can kind of see how efficient he's been with him. We've got a Vet 2, another Vet 1. Trying to work out how efficient the MiGs have been. Never nuke from big size down in the bottom left. Mix coming in again. Fargo with a big pop. Hits two mix, I think it was. Maybe three, I think it was two. Yeah, Sizer's uh, mix continually doing damage against the defences there of Fargo. Carpet Bomb now coming in for Size as well. So we keep hitting this supply, stopping the workers from collecting. Two nukes now in play. As a quad just walked straight through the base. Literally just walked straight through. Hmm, could that quad have got anything better done? It could have maybe parked there and detonated and killed those two. Or could have just waited there and picked off the mix. Nice demo bike. If Fargo can hold until he's level 5, I think he's in a good position. Otherwise, these mix. Insane. Oh, very much overkill on that tunnel. I think the particles are maxed out so that the animation's not working properly all the time. But yeah, Fargo is uh, getting pushed back and back. He's only placed on one worker on his main. He has a CC. He's got one oil safe, two oil safe. He's got the refinery. Nicknames in the chat saying so I should have made hackers when he had 20k. Yeah, he had 27k at one point, I think.
Okay, Mick's still circling for size. Fargo can see all of this coming, though, because he has that um, building. So he has quite a big vision. He can see this coming. Yeah, Fargo's got a decent amount of markets. He's got a skid storm now up as well. He's bringing some more workers for his main, which is going to help. Artillery coming in for the big size. Artillery's going to be on one of the safest oils Fargo has, and it does go down. Still loads of MiGs circling around for size. He's really putting on an air show for us. I think he can finish off that supply. I think that's what he's going to do, actually. He is losing a few MiGs for it, though. Lost two MiGs. Carpet comes in again. Yeah, it seems like the particles often max out on this map. I'm looking around to see if there's, like, fireflies or something. Nuke size somewhere around here. Hits the uh, safe oil there. Fargo in the back of his base. Makes for size hitting that supply over and over. It's good launcher went down as well as a quad. Fargo is very, very close to level five. So like an anthrax bomb there in the middle would not only seal it off, but also bring in him all the bounty money from the anthrax kills. And then he could do a sneak in the back of the base somewhere when the MiGs have landed. That could be really deadly. Yes, size. Still holding this middle position. But for how long is the question? Because all this is getting pretty weak now. Almost a Fargo pop. Did lose a good launcher, but the quads went back inside. But I think now could be a good time for a sneak when the MiGs are going to go back to land. Anthrax bomb is not uh, revealed or used yet. I think we missed... Have we missed a Rebel, Rebel Ambush there? Just failed to kill the MiGs. Here comes the Anthrax bomb. If it's there, it's going to be a problem. Oh my god, that's bad. That is so bad from Fargo. Why did he not use it there? He's just wasted his best ability <laughs> in the game. The Anthrax bomb against an infantry. If that had landed there, that's such a big problem for size. Fargo should... It's a Fargo Anthrax. <laughs> a Fargo Anthrax. Here comes a uh, sneak, but it's used at completely the wrong time. Yeah, when, when I called it out, if the anthrax would have been used there and the sneak used like anywhere, basically, while well, the MiGs are going to go and land, maybe even there when the MiGs are going to go and land, it would have been so good. Fargo could have won the game there and then. I still think he's got advantage here. But like imagine if Size had spent that 27k on helixes, like earlier on. Or just spent it on anything, how this game could have been different. Angry Mob now doing damage to uh, Size's base. Makes do stop it. Carpet from Size again. It's always on this. Uh... Oh, it's not actually. Oh, he's fired a carpet. And a nuke at the same time. So that scud is going to go down. 
I wonder if you timed that a bit better if you'd have done the nuke first and then the carpet hit. Probably this good could have been taken out. Yeah, Fargo's still in a good position. I just, I'm just convinced he could have won the game already if that Anthrax and Sneak had been used a little bit better. Oh, we've got Neutrons actually from Big Size. Uh, I think he's in range of the tunnel there. So that tunnel can't be used anymore. The tunnel system can't be used until that gets stopped. But Size does have a bit of a quad problem inside of his base. Fargo is generally holding over there as well. Yeah, those quads still just chilling. Fargo's chipping away here. The good launcher on the right. That's nice demo bike. Really needed as well because that tunnel was getting hit over and over again. Size has hackers down at the bottom left. Whoa, loads of hackers actually. Shane Stevens in the chat wants a shout out to shout out to uh, Shane Stevens. Artillery from big size. Going to be on that scud, I think, isn't it? So it's not going to be able to uh, rebuild. I still think that could have been killed earlier with a better timing on the carpet. But I get it. In the moment, you just want rid of it as fast as possible. The size losing some stuff here. John McKell gets picked off. It's a very scrappy game all over the place, isn't it? But does this just favor the GLA more and more, though, if it's a scrappy game like that? Because the GLA is getting the bounty money for it. And eventually the sneak will be decent, and eventually the anthrax will be decent. If you wait long enough. Yeah, that carpet hits the same supply again. A load more workers dying. Somewhere around here, I think. No, nope. here. Hmm. Well, Fargo's not out of it, but he has taken a bit of a beating in recent moments. Mega donation. Thanks so much for these games and commentaries. But Cheddar's with the 79 pound donation. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. What a true legend. Mix still flying around for size. Still taking out workers, still taking out quads. Shane Stevens appreciates his shout out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you do. No worries, man. And I appreciate that mega donation from uh, Butt Cheddars. Thank you very much. Rebel Ambush and a sneak. Used a little bit better this time. Still not perfect because the MiGs were kind of taken off. But it's a lot better. MiGs now land in. Rebel Ambush was decent there as well. This sneak, deadly. And uh, Spago could spread out a bit here as well. Is he focusing a little bit on the middle there? Yeah, the airfield there for size goes down. I think size will eventually hold that. The Skid Storm is back in play now. Yeah, size has still got an oil down at the bottom left. He's got like five hackers there. Anthrax bomb has only killed one additional hacker. And the two trucks, but it's the hackers you're mainly after. But yeah, knowing size. I, he doesn't normally group things like that. It's still a good target, but we know size 
likes to make a bunch of hackers in random places like that. Like that, like that. Sometimes he'll even do them like wide out in the open. Demobite coming in from uh, Fargo to stop these, stop these flamers pushing on the left hand side. I still got more cash. Fargo running a little bit more on empty. He was like down to 1900 there. Makes coming in on the right side again. Remember, Sizer's economy is going to get more insane as time goes by because the hackers uh, rank up. They get they collect more cash. Fargo suicide and a lot of quads to kill Flamers throughout this replay. Somewhere over here. Yeah. Okay, so he's killed the artillery platform and killed the um, repair base. So all of those are going to stop getting the free junk repair. I don't think he's got the junk repair, actually. He's going to have to spend 2k now to get it. I think he needs more markets so far, though, because uh, all the way through the, the game, Size has had way more economy. And that continues even now, I think. But Fargo is getting the bounty money though. Maybe that evens it out a little bit. Yeah, I feel like Size is gaining a little bit of momentum. He's even dropping down a third um, nuke. Fargo looking at applying some pressure on the left now. Like three avenues of battles going on. Makes come free pick off a skid launcher. Never nuke is up for size. Yeah, I feel like Size is taking a good advantage now. Lotus is disabling some of Fargo's units on the left. Ooh, that's a nice hit from the Flamers. Artillery and carpet coming in. Quite a few quads here, though. So this Scud will remain intact and uh, Fargo just needs to repair that back to 100%. And he should be good. But yeah, I think Fargo's slipping a little bit here. Or a lot, shall we say. I think the nuke is there. Fargo's losing his CC. This is what we would call a Fargo throw, I'm afraid. Because this game, as far as I was concerned, should have been won ages ago. The Anthrax bomb should have been on point. And the, uh, the, the two Anthrax bombs throughout this game have done absolutely nothing. He killed one hacker and two trucks. Oh, that's actually a nice little bit of a cinematic there. Where did that fire? That's a game changer, actually. Because if that had fired, that, that whole uh, internet center going down is a massive blow. But I still think size is one. There's just too many mistakes, I think, from Fargo. 
Mainly the anthrax bombs and the sneaks. Well, especially the first one just wasn't wasn't good enough, I don't think. Flamer gets sniped. Loads more flamers up in the top right though, but size is now back into uh big floating territory. He's just on 15k there. Are we gonna see him back up to 15k though? Some quite heavily vetted quads there. Does shred through the outpost and the infantry. Size so wasting a little bit here. It's single filing into the army of quads. But I think Size has got the economy for a bit of wasting, whereas I don't think Fargo does. There's a new flamer up at the top right now, killing the arms dealer. TNT gets stopped. I think that should uh, detonate like uh, with a demo upgrade. Fargo is holding. He's making a new market. But he's going to continue to get bombarded by the three nukes. And he doesn't have a CC. Oh, he does have a CC, sorry. He does have a CC. So sneak attack and anthrax bomb could still change things. Imagine you do a sneak there. Find them hackers and kill that. Really does change things. He's going to need that to, to stand a chance, I think. Oh, if he fired neutrons. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you could probably just retake it with all the RPGs, actually. That could be an EMP, though, as well. <laughs> it is an EMP. You got Neutron and emp Ooh, finally, a decent Anthrax bomb. That's what we're talking about. That's giving uh, Fargo a massive cash boost now, because it's just killed all of that stuff. There was a lot of outposts there, if I wasn't mistaken. There was, like, six outposts, maybe seven. Size is still waypointing stuff into the... Uh, Anthrax now as well. Oh, but that is killing his tunnel. Nuke used at the front. It's a bit chaotic, actually, this game. The uh, Neutron's still hitting that tunnel, though. That's painful. I didn't see if it uh, killed, like, the Scud launcher and whatever else was in there. Probably did. But Fargo is actually having a bit of success here. He's done the... Uh, why does he always do this? Always does the sneak face in the anthrax. Assuming mind drop. Vet 3 quad is actually going to shred the uh, outpost. But the CC... Oh, CC remains alive for now. But can Fargo save it? No. It's not going to save it. Still a Vet 3 quad here, though. Uh, a sneak back here that could be uh, absolutely legendary still. That worker could detonate on this, but I don't think Fargo's noticed. New cannon gets taken out by the demo bike. This has been an epic game mode. It's a 37 minute game. It's like as long as the whole set so far. Size so just picking off all the markets now. 
don't think Fargo can continue for much longer. There's more legendary sneak attack in this position has been needed for a very long time. Nice nuke there from size. So I flown 12k. Fargo with a flamer inside the size of space. Um, I mean, Fargo's doing a couple of cute little things, but I don't think uh, it's enough to win. Size has got the much bigger economy. Fargo's got like one or two markets at the max. He's got flamers coming in his base. One. Okay, there's, I mean, there's four if we're including the half dead ones. But that's against all of them hackers, all of those hackers, one safe oil, two safe oils, a nuke, more hackers, refinery, full internet center, another oil. <laughs> Whereas Fargo's got literally no oils. Already thinking about the next match because it's going to be the reverse of this. Is Fargo going to Helix Rush? I think he will. He'll try a Helix Rush to try and get an easy uh, victory back, but I don't think it's going to work. Fargo also didn't get AP bullets for a very long time this game. And he, he didn't make a Scud launcher for a very long time. And uh, yeah, the first two Anthraxes were bad. The first couple of sneaks were bad. If you correct them four things, this this should have been a win for Fargo. Was Fargo actually hunted? Fargo squids and size with another GG. GG, well played. 4-1. Someone in the chat said that's mental breaking point because that would have been 3-2, but now it's Yeah, size is impl implying that uh, Fargo is worker hunted there at the end. Could well have been. I like size's attitude tonight. Okay, will Fargo do a helix in the reverse? Let's see. Really was an epic game. Yeah, you're right. 40 minutes that was. A 40 minute game. The whole set so far has only been an hour and a half, so all the other games before that accounted to 40 minutes. <clears throat> okay, so up in the top left of Arctic Arena, we have the Orange Player GLA Demolition. This is big size. Down in the bottom right with the blue China Infantry. This is Fargo.
So a bit of China music since we've got China on there. I play my own music from the desktop because a load of the GLA music and maybe one of the one or two of the China tracks have copyright. Especially the GLA music though. A load of them have um, copyright on them. Okay, truck rush from Fargo and he is doing a helix behind this. He's done his helix facing that way though, which is a bit weird if you're going to rush this out. We should face it the other way. So the helix spawns a little bit closer for the rush. I mean, if you do helix over and over again, it becomes a bit predictable. I remember when Fargo played against Vivid was at the World Series or some challenge. And Vivid knew that where helix was going to come, so he basically just built, built stingers and quads from the beginning. And just auto won the game. Is size predicting the same thing here? He is going quad first, no technicals. But Helix is already out, so there's going to be like probably two quads out by the time the Lix gets over there. The problem is for Fargo though, he's going for this Helix rush. But size is going to get a load of economy. Helix rush is coming. There's a lot of RPGs there. I don't know if you can take that fight, Fargo. Could be a quick night. Okay. Kind of went okay, actually, considering. Lix is dead, but so are two quads and the arms dealer. And he has the minigun who are alive still in that as well. And now Size is going to lose a bunch of stuff. Uh, Fargo behind this is probably, knowing him, going to make another helix. And I think, actually, it would be a good call right now. Okay, a couple of TNTs here from uh, Size. Not going to do anything, though. Size must be kicking himself a little bit that it's kind of predictable it's always going to be a Helix. And still, he might end up losing to the Helix. Must be kicking himself. Oh, here's the other Helix. Yeah, I don't think Size is going to be able to win this. I think Size could have still gone for his oils. Meanwhile, just going for one supply, dropping a stinger. I don't think he would have been in a good position, but right now he's against, like, what, three Helixes? There's a truck over here. Whoa, there's a lot of quads out still. I'm not sure where his arms dealer is. It's over here, actually. So size actually holding. Is holding. Artillery platform here is going to be annoying against all this infantry. Could size not have popped his quads there and held that? Or is he waiting elsewhere? Size is slowly, like, creeping all over the map. Dare I say it, Size still has a, still has a chance here. Because he's built up the quad numbers so he can stop the Lixers now. And he's, like, uh, yeah, cre crept all over the map, getting oils, got an oil there. He's got a lot of oils, size. And size naturally, actually now on the attack. I don't quite understand how size has got himself in this position, despite the helix rush working out in the end as well as it did. Size now gone back inside of his tunnel, ready for this next Helix push.
But I think size is very well prepared now for any kind of licks. If it goes anywhere near that, I think he's going to pop and take out them two licks and then Fargo will be in trouble. Fargo is kind of surrounded on this whole left side, actually. Yeah, I think Size is still inside of his tunnel waiting for these Lixis. Fargo now building an army of outposts. The two legs just flying around does force Sais to stay inside of his tunnel, though, I suppose. Sais pops, so is Fargo now going to use that time to move out and pick off something? He looks is just staying idle for now. Lotus in action, going to take back this oil. A lot of RPGs getting picked off there. Oh, and I said, did I miss a carpet? Potentially. So Fargo is level 3 and does have a CC. Lix is still chilling there in the middle. Lotus disabling the strong quad here. Yeah, there's a lot of quads for size. It turns out Demo versus Inf on this map is actually very good. <laughs> Size has some quite good engagements. Has to go back there, though. He was standing in the fire. And the, uh, by the outposts. Yeah, that can't pop from there anymore. This uh, oil needs capturing by Fargo. If you can capture that back, and somehow deal with this bottom left area, he's in a really good position. But it's always this bottom left area, isn't it? <laughs> Once the GLA gets there, it's a big problem. Yeah, we didn't miss that carpet, but it, uh, Fargo missed. <laughs> I didn't miss the carpet, but Fargo missed the target. Artillery now coming in for... Fargo, big quad pop on the Lixis. One of the Lixis does fall. Size now standing in the way of all these outposts. Artillery comes in and doesn't really do that much. I think he was anticipating a pop from there. But I think if Fargo clears this, I think he's won. Looking like he might clear this as well. Size has taken out this supply and been annoying with these quads. One quad remaining. A few TNTs being made by size. Our TNT could have killed a uh, outpost. Couple of trucks, or well, three trucks, actually getting picked off there. All comes down to this bottom left battle. It, like, if size gets cleared from that tunnel, I think Fargo's won, and I don't think there's any other way, any other way to see it. I think Fargo might have won anyway because I don't think size can hold this. That's a nice mind drop. If size had a pop there, he'd have been doomed. And turns out, yeah, the helix, uh, <laughs> the predictable helix rush, 
was actually a good choice from Fargo in this instance, but size has to be kicking himself that um but it worked so well in the beginning because you have to predict it. Yeah, Fargo needs that supply back and he also needs to stop that quad. Yeah, Fargo's all over the place now. It's got too big of an economy. GG from size. It's going to be no GG from Fargo. We know that. Well played to Fargo. A very predictable helix, but if it works, it works. All right, so I can't remember what's next. GLA USA on damned scorpion. But I think we're going to be here for a few hours tonight. We might, might even have another set after this. So I'm going to order some food now, actually. <laughs> I haven't eaten for hours. Maybe we'll get a pizza like... Um, Big size did. Love the streams. Yo, Michael Calabro, you just bought the pizza. Thank you very much. For the 20 uh, Australian dollars. Thank you, man. Okay, food is ordered. Chicken kebab it is in the end. <laughs> Courtesy of Michael Calibro. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, Sides just finished his pizza just before this set started. <laughs> That's why we started 10 minutes late. Sides went AFK during last game at the end and now again. <laughs> A 
Actually, I says going for a dummy nose. <laughs> Slice says you're easy. Side's gonna play the USA. We're on damn Scorpion, then we're gonna see some damn action. Up at the top left with the GLA. But the blue player, this is Fargo. And Dominoes. They, they should sponsor me, actually. They should sponsor all these streams. <laughs> Down in the bottom right. Also, Dominator Festival should sponsor me as well. There's a massive festival called Dominator. When you type it in YouTube, it used to be the first thing that came up. I don't know if my channel comes before it anymore. I think they have like 150k subscribers or something more than that. So probably they're still top. Down in the bottom right, we have the uh, USA Vanilla for the uh, orange player, Danish Viking. This is big size. Yeah, Domino should definitely sponsor the channel. Discount code for discount code big size <laughs> for an extra large pizza. I do like Domino's actually. I don't think, unless my mates have ordered it, I don't think I've ever, I've never ordered a Papa John's in my life. I've been to my mate's house and he's ordered pizzas a few times. But I don't know actually if he goes to Papa John's. Maybe, maybe I have had one, but I've only had like one or two in my life Papa John's, if that's the case. Dominoes I've had a fair few of. But they're so loaded with grease, though, it does make you hot. It does make you half asleep for the rest of the day, basically. So Fargo um, stops the dozer from doing any crushing in his base. Basically, remake this of Sand Scorpion in case you've been AWOL for six months. Uh, damn Scorpion adds a dam here and here. And if you flood it, this whole village here floods. Code GG, well played for an, a big size pizza. <laughs> Tech RPG there, gonna hunt the other dozer, but the CC has been kept for size. The super tech. Hmm. I thought the super tech was going to get wasted then, but it's actually... Uh, has it kind of saved the day here? I don't know. Work is getting picked off from a, of an awkward angle. Fargo does not want to let the Vs get through that. Tech RPGs are actually taking out the Vs here. I think USA GLA might be actually size's probably biggest weakness. Marikos says NordVPN is a great sponsor. Yeah, they are actually. They've given me my own uh, link. NordVPN.com forward slash dominator. That's uh, pretty good by NordVPN. <laughs> I get a nice little bit of commission off that thanks to them. If you, if you want to get NordVPN, make sure you use my link in the description. I recommend it. I use NordVPN every day actually. Not just like saying, not just like saying that. Like some other sponsors. NordVPN actually is pretty decent. But I think there are even better ones, though. I'm not going to lie. I think there are better ones. Because some websites and some... Some things know when you're on a VPN or not. And if you have a, Apparently, you can get a really good VPN. That fools a website or whatever to not know that you're on a VPN, if that makes sense. Like the IP address must be different. Well, Fargo's taking over all the bottom left. He's also having a good go at the top right. I think it's kind of a good start for Fargo, actually, because he's held the middle there as well. Fargo's building his palace in the village, so that would be a prime time to kill that dam down in the bottom left flood the village T 
TNT from Fargo around the back. Yeah, generally expected a bit more of that from Fargo throughout the whole set. Is that one of the first TNTs we've seen in the match? Because normally Fargo is the king of doing TNTs all the way through the match consistently. Size broken through at the top. Is he going to kill that oil or just drive past it? Looks like he's going to drive past it. Palace being built at the bottom left means Size is not going to be able to pick it off. Size is also pushing here without an ambulance. And I think he's going to struggle against that many technicals. Technicals moving in. Yeah, a lot of these are going to die in the making of this replay. Like, Fargo can afford the trade-offs, I think, because I think he's economically ahead. And he can camp this out late game with the Palace and the Buggies, because the Buggies are going to rug the Vs all day long. Problem is for... Um Size, yeah, he might have expanded up there, but Fargo's already harassing it. Mariko says that Palace is going to be a good Atlantis Palace. <laughs> I agree, but I don't think Size is going to get the opportunity to kill the dam, though. That's a thing. Nice TNT again from Fargo. Yeah, Fargo's got way too much. V's taken out there as well. Oil's taken out. Search and destroy is deployed, but size doesn't have enough, I don't think. If size kills the dam, yeah, the palace will die. And this whole village here, everything with a light color basically will flood and die. Ty's going to hold for now, and he is uh, getting bi bigger at the top there. This has been taken out, though, and uh, that supply's gone. Mainly, I suppose, it's rangers here, the orange dots, isn't it? The, the dam is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the dam is the same HP as an oil on this map. So he's pushing out with the Vs, but he's trading off here, and I don't think Stuffy can really um, afford to trade off. Fargo's going to push at the top. He's going to find two places. Nice laser lock there from size. Yeah. Tunnel being built here by Fargo as well.
Fargo is just too big. He's too all over the map. And if, if he wins this area, then size is just banished basically to that bottom right side of the map where his base is. Fargo beginning to float now. 13k. Building more buggies and more quads. Could sell that supply if he wanted to. Doesn't make too much of a difference though. Yeah, Sykes could kill the dam with a double uh, A10. Pathfinder's now out. Yeah, big engagement here between the Vs and the Fargo's buggies, quads, battle bus. Fargo's really good at mixing in the uh, the battle bus with the Jarman inside of it. So that the uh, Vs can't just unload and laser lock everything. So size just can't afford these kind of losses, I don't think. Maybe keeping the CC was a little bit too passive here. Maybe if he'd have just done two supplies, built up the Vs and then done a big push here. Like we see some USA players do. GG from size. No GG or anything from Fargo. Just to quit. <laughs> and uh, Fargo bringing it closer, actually. 4 3. Okay, my food is on the way as well. I might have to take a 30 second break to answer the door in a second. Says your food is on the way, but then it's just got a picture of a car sat outside the kebab house. <laughs> it's been there for like five minutes. I think he's eating my kebab outside the shop. Well, I would introduce this match, but uh, yeah, I might need to take a 30 second break at some point. Okay, up at the top left. We have the orange jelly vanilla. But a player that is big size. Down at the bottom right, we have the USA vanilla. But a blue player. Which is a Fargo. Okay, drop from Fargo up at the top. It's building a barracks. Size is not interested in that area at the minute. He's actually focusing on the middle and down at the bottom left. Size always likes to focus on the middle on this map, actually.
If I could quite a nice build, actually. He's going to get oils. He's got a couple of missile defenders there to laser lock a technical. I actually kind of like this from uh, Fargo. Those are dropping the base, though. Doesn't get much done. But it's a bit of a distraction, though. But a simple technical over here could shut... Actually, no, I couldn't shut this down now because there's too many missile defenders. You know what would shut this down? A classic two supply, two arms dealer build. <laughs> When's the last time you saw one of them? Wait, how is that dozer still alive? When's the last time in a in a tournament or in a challenge or in a, any kind of serious 1v1 you saw two supplies and two arms dealers? That really is a throwback, isn't it? <laughs> Is it a GLA kebab? Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> GLA kebab. Well, size looks in the bottom left position. He's won the middle. Fargo really fighting fiercely to take this top position. He's dropping down a second war factory. So this is a better attempt at the USA. For Fargo. Deck RPG from size. Very annoying. Ooh, he could have uh, finished off a Chinook there, but he chose not to. Fargo holds the pressure, and that Chinook stayed alive. Not sure if it's collecting or whatever it's doing now, though. It's just kind of chilling. So it might as well have died, because it's doing nothing. <laughs> Size now with a lot of quads. Yeah, my food's here now, so I need to be right back for 30 seconds while I answer the door. Okay, we're back. The GLA chicken can map in the house. So it looks like uh, Fargo's holding on to that top right position. The problem is, the size is now on the palace and he's got quite a lot of cash. It's going to be pretty hard to deal with the buggies. Uh, Fargo's also <laughs> hunted. Kind of missed that minor detail, but he is hunted. 
So Scythe's going to easily just camp this out now with loads of tunnels, buggies. Yeah, Fargo now only has one war factory, no dozer. I think Size is not interested in dealing with that at the minute. He's just coming into TNT everything. Hits the power. So he's building a market, uh, another arms dealer. He's got a decent amount of defense there. I would be surprised if Fargo is able to pull this off. One war factory, no power. It's kind of a tall order, isn't it? Against the GLA with uh, Palace. Oh, it would be good to hit that, though, because you'd delete size from that area if that, uh, that was killed. Hmm. Has Fargo got a chance here? Here's the buggies. Mm, there, are, there is some stuff loaded in these as well. And he's got Hellfire. I still think the buggies are just going to chip this away all day long, even now. Look. Size doesn't have the. Uh, doesn't have the upgrade. For the uh, rockets, AP rockets. Fargo's doing a bit of damage here, isn't he? Another technical comes through. Oh, no, it's getting through. Oh, yeah. Okay, it gets intercepted. I didn't really know how it got that far, actually, with these with uh, Toe and Hellfire. But the thing is, Fargo's just let it pass. It won't kill any of those anyway, though, but it will damage it. I don't really know how this is happening, actually. Fargo could just camp, camp it out. Sorry, Size could just camp it out down in the bottom left. We have a palace. I know uh, Fargo's experienced in this type of scenario on this map because we watched an epic Fargo versus Boyka game in exactly the same situation. But I think Boyka had a bit less map control and a bit less stuff. Boy, you literally just had that in the game that I'm thinking about. Fargo could. Oh, no, no, he couldn't, actually. No. I was going to say load up a load of missile defenders. If he started a barracks, he could make loads of missile defenders, load them up, and then go on suicide mission on the dam. Go and shoot the dam and flood all of Size's buildings here. That would make a big difference, but. Fargo's having a good go at this, isn't he? Really is. Sai still has several buggies out, though. 
Bugger floating 17k because he literally can't spend it. But those buggies are going to be efficient all day long, especially hiding in and amongst these uh, bunkers here. I suppose what doesn't help size a little bit is these tank traps. They're not even selectable, them tank traps. They're basically to stop you building on the edges here. Because if you build it and it flattens the land, when the dam floods, it glitches out and it makes the terrain look like it's got a hole in the terrain. You can just see the ocean through like a square. My kebab is currently going cold, but it should it should remain hot for a while. <laughs> I will try to be in between games. Fargo's struggling now, though, isn't he? He gave it a really good go, but in the end, it's still... You're against the palace. Even just clearing that, for example, would be a problem. But clearing that would be a problem. The size is just in too many places, and these buggies... Just all day long, gonna uh, wreck these Vs. Food need beers. Cheers to you, Domi and Tall AF in the chat. Yo, uh, Thomas. Damn God. Thank you very much, man. For the donation. Indeed. <laughs> now we need to get some beers to wash down the kebab. <laughs> nah, thanks a lot. Really appreciate that. Hmm, Fargo could get a GLA, C uh, GLA supply here. I don't think he's going to get it. That would have been his ticket back in, though. Would have been definitely interesting if he got that. Almost got it. Jean Mankel took his time there. Nah, no matter what Fargo does here, it. Even if it was a mismatch, it's not 50-50. GG. Is size going to type? You have been defeated. <laughs> Types hmm, not LOL this time. Big size 5, Fargo 3. Okay, what is next? Uh, GLA versus Tox on Liquid Gold. It's going to be a long one, isn't it? it might be cute to go quiet and eat my kebab for a bit. Okay, down in the south spot, we've got the Gile Tox with the blue. This is Fargo. With the better army, but the weakest spot. Up in the top, we have the GLA Vanilla for the orange player. This is big size. Yeah, the, the bottom spot is weaker because the top spot generally just wins more in Jalea Mirrors. 
but he gets a better, better position for the workers on top of these um, positions on the left and on the right. It means you can win this easier, win this left side easier. Um, but with Toxo, you can flush out these. Uh, you can flush out these buildings with the uh, Tox tunnel. Okay, Fargo's here with a technical. Bad pop of the RPGs. Did deny the oil there, though, big size. Yeah, Fargo doing some nice denial. That one did get capped, though. That's capped, and that's not capped, actually. Technicals coming in for big size into the Fargo base. Fargo caps the bottom right oil. TNT actually gets one of the technicals. Okay. Thing size is uh, Fargo is doing that to um, make sure that his his rebel can, uh, collects the oil. Can't be denied quickly by being run over. Pretty nice there from Fargo. Fargo harassing the stop right supply size. Capturing another oil here. Whatever that was, I think it was a barracks gets sold. Slice denying a few workers there with a toxin tractor. That will fade though, and those workers will be able to collect again. Slice currently not collecting on his uh, right side supply. Technicals for size will clear it up though. So Fargo's picked off these oils there on the right. Size so running around with his technicals, seeing what he can get done. I think advantage Fargo at the minute, only just, because he has this oil.
matter how long is the question. Fargo's also collecting on the right side there. But size does have that expansion there. Yeah, Fargo on the, on the uh, counter-attack now. Scorpion versus Scorpion engagement. But the, uh, the Tox Scorpions are much better because they come with the Tox shells automatically. Precise does need to upgrade him. Size does love his scorpion battles, though. Yeah, probably not a good engagement there for size anymore because the uh, RPGs of the Tox are inside of this building. Damaging all them scorpions. Technical for size running around, killing some workers, being and generally annoying. Size is now collected on this extra supply over on the left side. Size only on double arms dealer, whereas Fargo is on three actually. Size still managing to do okay with the amount of scorpions that he's got. He still has quite an insane amount actually. Fargo's now on buggies, building a CC, building a market. Fargo getting a bit of momentum here now, actually. This little village on the left. But the size has crept forward, though, with the tunnels. He likes to do this. Just builds tunnels right in your face, in your base. Both players defending their oils pretty well. So I've got a decent amount of buggies out now. I think if it gets the buggy wars, then actually Scythe's not in that bad of a position. It's the Scorpions versus Scorpions where Fargo has a nice advantage because of the Tox shells.
The sizes buggy's doing some good work now. Picks off that tower. Bargo busy clearing these tunnels inside of his base with the uh, scorpions. Jarman versus Jarman, man on man action here in the middle. There's um, Bargo's over here. He's going away from sizes there. I was waiting for a little bit of a love scene there. <laughs> Fargo generally is very patient with his Jarman. He will wait for ages. And usually win the Jarman engagement. I'm thinking that might happen. That's if Jarman here doesn't die to the splash damage from the buggies. Which also could be, uh, could be something that happens. Oh, there we go. Oh, but Fargo didn't fire his load. <laughs> Fargo just stayed idle. Oh, he actually messed that up big time, Fargo, because he let Sizes fire, and then he fired his, his after. I suppose with that oil dead and both players collecting from there and there, it's kind of even on the left, but Fargo still has that oil alive. And Fargo's still collecting from the right. Remember, he took out them oils ages ago. Economy advantage, Fargo, and I think he probably... Does he have more markets? It's kind of even, actually. Size is making a lot of radar vans. Scanning the base. Angry mob now in play for Fargo. First good storm on the battlefield has a beacon on it from Fargo. Fargo also building two scud storms. Fargo is uh, gaining ground here massively now. That supply is in danger. Fargo is losing some tunnels on the left. Scaring size back a little bit. His size losing a lot of ground here. He's got these two scud storms up though. Fargo's two are going to complete very soon as well. Buggies versus buggies trade off. Uh, only one buggy surviving. Fargo is now level 5. The uh, size does have the tox shell, so he could clear this. And Frex bomb on the production, but yeah, he can force fire and clear it. Yeah, so someone told me that actually the, the, the scorpion is firing the clear tox or radiation shell at the same time that it's firing its own. I don't know if EA did that on purpose. I'm guessing they did do it on purpose, not just by a random fluke. 
But um, I think they did it on purpose to stop things stacking. Otherwise, you'd get tox. Yeah, I mean, all the tox shells would just stack on top of each other. It's probably just to stop stacking, isn't it? That's basically what it's to do. Because otherwise, you'd fire a load of shells in one place and you'd step on it with a tank and the tank would just blow up from the stack, I reckon. That's probably why. Fargo sent in a lot of buggies very close to this army here. Eventually does win it. Maybe he can afford bad trade-offs though, because I think he's ahead. It's got quite a spread out base. It's normally sized with more map control at this stage, but I think he had the, um, the weaker army here. Rebel ambush there from Fargo. Not that impactful, really. Gets sniped by the Jarman as well. Sai still retains this position, but it's not really doing that much for him. Yeah, I'm smelling a GG here from Sai soon, I think. He has these two Scud Storms. He might wait to fire those, but I still think he's just going to lose the army battle. Yeah, Fargo using that same trick to clear the Anthrax there. More markets from size, but he's quite all in this area. <clears throat> oh, this is my voice there. All, all in this area, really. Couple of scuds there. We'll take out the um, the scud and the markets. Anthrax, sorry, not Anthrax. Sneak attack from big size. Get shut down there. It's primarily buggies inside of there, so a couple of scorpions will scare that away in close range. Uh, Skid Storm fired from size. Let's see where that's going to hit. Hits the oil and whatever else was there, basically. Primarily, it's just the oil, isn't it? Angry mob straight through the middle. Battle bus is here now for Fargo as well. There's a Jean Mankellef in that sizes. Snipes one of the battle buses. GG from size. Gonna be no GG from Fargo, I have no doubt. And yeah, well played. By four is the score. I'm gonna try and eat a bit more of my food while we're waiting.
Okay, so on to the reverse. I'm going to introduce the players when I'm trying to eat a bit of my food, so I may go quiet for a little bit. Up at the top, we have Fargo with the GLA Vanilla this time, with the blue. This is Fargo. Are his workers late there? Don't know, actually. Maybe not. Down in the south position with the orange Danish Viking. This is the Tox player. This is Big Size. So Size with the better army this time. Interesting tunnel placement over here for Size. Aggressive worker for Fargo. I'll just mute myself for a sec while I eat some food and then I'll be back uh, in a second. Okay, so a bit of a fight down at the bottom right. Fargo trying to get this oil. And that's actually Sizer's oil. So that's pretty cool. And Fargo's even going to save that top right oil. So uh, pretty well played there so far from Fargo. Fargo winning this uh, hill and expanding. He had that supply in the previous game. Fargo with his next couple of uh, arms dealers. Size winning the left side. But size with these few tunnels in Fargo's base. Could be a big issue, actually. Fargo does have a fair few oils, because even having that one there is plus one for him, minus one for size. Talks interactive from Fargo. Probably will flush out that building. Size doesn't look to be paying attention in this area. Buildings get flushed open, but where is Size paying attention? Actually, over on the right. Yo, strong power. Appreciate your work. Thank you, man. It means a lot. Thank you very much for your donation. The kind words. Thank you. Strong power indeed. <laughs> so Fargo tried a bit of an attack down this left hand side and for the most part it's actually kind of working out for him. He's got a hold of this bunker. He's looking like he wants to get this oil. It's kind of working nicely for him.
Tuxion Tractor still flushing out more and more buildings. Fargo gets even another oil. I think Fargo's doing very well here, actually. He just needs to deal with this, and then he's in a really good position. Size has killed that. Size has reclaimed that. Yeah, Fargo and his Toxin Tractors work. This this game has been uh, really good, actually. Flushing out buildings all over the place. Fargo fighting off this attack here from size. Also saving that oil again from being capped. TNT being prepared by Fargo. Toxin tried to back in action for Fargo. Fargo decided now is the time to try and attack on this right hand side, but Scorpion's gonna run into Tox Scorpions and Tox Tunnels. Fargo does have all of this area though, which is a huge advantage. But size is doubling down on this scorpion spam. He really has a lot of scorpions. Three arms dealer spam. These buggies need to be put to use ASAP so he doesn't lose as much ground, Fargo. Yeah, he could be holding this. Even just putting a few on guard mode here, a few on guard mode here, just chipping away at it. But currently, a lot of these units are doing nothing. Where is Fargo? What's he doing? More and more scorpions for big size. Yeah, if, if this gets cleared, that's over as far as I'm concerned. But if this attack does good and that supply stays in play. But yeah, it's just a bit of a traffic jam going on here. I don't know what's going on with Fargo's brain at the minute. Needs to get the buggy ammo upgrade and just fight this with the buggies. I don't, I don't know where else he's paying attention.
And TNT around the back from Fargo. It's a safe foil of big size. Gonna be annoying on the workers here as well, by the looks of things. Domicar FTW. <laughs> Yo, quit, uh, quit Saber. Thank you very much. Dummy car for the win. D Dummy car actually played last night. I haven't uploaded the video yet. <clears throat> or Marinator, as we sometimes call. <laughs> well, we have a lot of buggies versus a lot of scorpions. Longer term, the buggy should win, but if you go close like that, then the uh, scorpions obviously have a good advantage. So I still retaining control. The top right. But Sai's building up his buggy numbers as well. But uh, Fargo's got an insane amount of buggies. And I think he's going to be able to clear this position. Size is getting a bit of ground on the left. He's building a supply. Got this oil. Still could go either way because Fargo still has all of this right side. Size basically needs to do all this damage just to stay competitive in this game because of all this right side. And the refinery there giving 10% discount on three war factory spam. There's the backhoe. Who remembers Fargo versus backhoe? Who remembers Fargo against Sizer's brand new strategy, Immortal Ranger Drop? Oh, no, wait. The other way around, wasn't it? Size versus Fargo's Immortal Ranger Drop. I think I said it the wrong way around. Yeah, size is going to run away for the time being, but his tunnels there are going to get picked off. I think Fargo should kill that oil if he doesn't intend to get it back. It's quite a legendary uh, Rebel Ambush. Killed a lot of buggies there. Fargo does pull back, though. A few TNT is being prepared by... Uh Fargo, but they just run into rebels. And Thrax spawn from Fargo. Let's see how good this is going to be. I think he's going to get Jarman at least. Let's get Jarman, and it's annoying for the workers. Size can clear it just by force firing a scorpion there. Size building markets. Here comes an anthrax bomb from big size. He's going to be on the production there of Fargo, but he's got a toxin tractor ready for this. Or 
Is he going to use Toxin Tractor or the Scorpion Shell? He's got the Toxin Tractor ready. Can use the Contaminate function. It'll make the Anthrax disappear. Ty's so now focusing a little bit on the right side. Okay, he's going to be basically a buggy versus buggy engagement. Fargo with a better fight there, I think. Takes out three or four buggies for free. Bugger has all the upgrades except uh, Junk Repair. Size has all the upgrades apart from AP Rockets. Interesting choice. Size does like Junk Repair. <clears throat> Super Source said um, Size had Fargo's oil, but he actually doesn't. That's a dead oil in the top right. It's um, just the bunker that size has got. Fargo doesn't care about for the time being. Skid storm being built. Two skid storms being built for Fargo. Yeah, demo traps could be good here, actually. Just one or two demo traps dotted around. Could get a bunch of buggies. Could be uh, very, very beautiful. Yeah, Fargo getting some decent buggy hits when size fires and Fargo's coming in from the side, picking off a load of the buggies. Is size just going to commit here to a big army attack? I think he is, actually. He's making quad scorpions buggies, make, making a mixture of everything. Meanwhile, do, doing what he can with that. So I think he's going to try and surprise Fargo with a sneak in the back with a ton of units.
It might be enough to win the game, but this Anthrax bomb is legendary. It's going to stop the buggies retreating. Size pops some scorpions. Where are you going? Or oh, where are you going? I think Size did well to keep two buggies and his Jarman alive, actually. I think Fargo's feeling pretty confident, but this uh, big army attack from Size soon. That could um, really do something. Are we waiting for the uh, sneak attack, though? Maybe he was waiting for the sneak attack. And Frax coming in from, uh, from size. But there might be too many buggies for Fargo and the two Scud Storms are going to cause devastation for Size. Size trying to build Scud Storms now. Fargo could do with more RPGs inside of there. But that attack wasn't that bad for Size. I suppose what has he actually gained though? Because Fargo still retains that and the markets, all the important stuff is all still alive. He's cleared a bunch of tunnels, a bunch of map control, that's it. But I suppose Fargo is losing one mark you here now. Buggies repop. Just endless uh, buggy wars versus buggies. One good storm now for size. It's got quite a nice spread of markets going on, so <clears throat> don't think two good storms will kill him. But if it's on the production, though, it could severely slow him down in, a, in time for a uh, Fargo sneak to cause some uh, crazy damage. That could certainly happen. Shaman kill in action. Nice going a little bit too far forward there. Fargo's still not collected this. He's trying to now. Size also collected from here as well. Two Scud Storms ready to fire for Fargo. Let's kick up the Let's kick up the we'll watch where it's gonna fire. Let's kick up some dirt. All looks to be on the production. Production and markets in the middle of uh, Size's base. But two arms dealers still alive, so... Not amazing, but... Still a chunk of Size's stuff, isn't it? Ooh, Rebel Ambush. Kills a bunch of buggies there. Yo, Macaulay Wilmot, welcome to you, man. Come and kill there from Fargo, actually. He was standing in the buggies. Kills the uh, size German. Bit more man on man action. <coughs> Joseph in the chat says, How was the food? Uh, I've eaten half. 
pretty good. <laughs> We'd like to eat the rest, but I also uh, want to carry on watching this replay, so I'll try and eat some more in the break between this game and the next one. Yeah, Fargo uh, going really crazy with the buggies, but he's caught a little bit off guard here by three battle buses, gamma buses. Yeah, we're just going to race through and kill a load of stuff inside of Fargo's base. Fargo only just realizing this now. It might take out both skid storms here, and that's a legendary play from size. If he does, he's going to get it. He gets both skids, and the and two buses are still alive. Really nice from size. Really, really nice. And now he's got the two Skirt Storm advantage. This is why it's called Big Size. Buggy's now for Fargo. Has to get some serious damage done because he's uh, two scuds behind now. Size a nice cheeky little comment there, back from uh, what Fargo said earlier. Bit of a Fargo pop there. Popped a ton of stuff when he had absolutely no chance to win the engagement. But popped it anyway. That's exactly the definition of a Fargo pop. Yo Zane, welcome to you man. Good storm now fired from uh, size. Is that going to be on the oil at the back, maybe? Or is that actually on the skirt of um, Fargo over on the top right? That will get reset then. The tox damage will do very, very slow damage to it. Fargo holds. We're now over the 30 minute mark. Second Skid Storm being rebuilt for Fargo. But Size is getting pushed back a lot by this pure buggy spam over on the left. We've got a sneak now from Size. A lot of scorpions. Size deciding whether he's going to hit the scud or whether he's going to hit the uh, units uh, defending the scud. Finishes the scud. Sneak's already gone though, so those scorpions now are committed. Fargo got 15k. Is that intentional or is he just overwhelmed with the amount of APM he needs to do? 
because he's two scuds behind still, so it's not a guaranteed win at this point, even though he might have advantage. Perhaps. So it's this part of this advantage, really, isn't it? And he's got cheaper buggies, but it's definitely not... It's definitely not 20k float uh, territory. <laughs> Yeah, I do feel like size is losing a lot of ground. You see the blue everywhere for Fargo. It's probably two thirds of the map is Fargo's. It's good storm fires for size. Uh, maybe it will be on that. Oh no, it's on the palace and the production. If Fargo's not demo, he's GLA vanilla this game. It's GLA against Tox. Yo, Sexy Maxi, good to see you in the chat. He says, both guys are easy. <laughs> yeah, Sai's losing more ground on the right, but he's kind of holding on the left, isn't he? He's got a new line of tunnels. Skidstorm being rebuilt. I feel like this game could actually go on forever. It's like, Skidstorms get killed, Skidstorms get rebuilt, markets get killed, land gets taken, land gets reclaimed. <laughs> it's been back and forth for a while. Size of Skidstorm is ready. He's on one of the Skidstorms there at Fargo's. Fargo's fired his good too. It's quite deadly that in the back of the base. Killed a bunch of markets. Barracks. And that's a market too. Nice Anthrax bomb. Eighty minute Marissa's exile could well be. <laughs> We've had GLA Marys between these two go an hour. So easily. An hour is possible. Size is committing though to killing this Skidstorm. I don't know if he's gonna get it though, to be honest. 
If he does, he's going to lose everything there. Yeah, he gets it, but he's sacrificing basically his entire army to get that. Now Fargo's got a lot of buggies, but size... Okay, he still pops a few more buggies. It's good storm going to be rebuilt in exactly the same spot. Good storm fired from size. It's going to be in Fargo's base somewhere. We'll watch where it's going to land. Fargo's attack with the sneak is not going to do that much. It's going to hit the only skid storm remaining of Fargo. Still got a tiny bit of HP. I don't know if that's going to fully die or not. Let's we'll see. Hmm. Might die, it also might survive. It's going to be close, actually. Uh, endless buggies versus buggies basically make anything else other than a buggy you just get outranged by buggies <laughs> rebel ambush though from size and Spargo's not seen it just yet continues to fire even though he's taking loads of damage from the rebel ambush size did lose a lot as well but not quite as much there as Fargo I don't think Oh, that's good. Did did die. <clears throat> did get reset. It's a good fight from sides again. Going to take out another of Fargo's scuds. It's going to reset it at least. Yo, FD he says I wanted to donate to this, but it doesn't allow me to donate in my currency. Um, yeah, I don't know quite what to say. The thought was there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what currencies are allowed and what are not, to be honest. Do you live in North Korea? Is it North Korean pounds? <laughs> Fargo again just seems to have too many buggies. It's been a story most mostly throughout this whole game, actually. But size has a th three Scud Storm advantage. <clears throat> FD, no worries, man. Thanks for the uh, kind words.
Yeah, in the middle is now a bit of like a no man's land where all the buildings have been taken out from the buggies. It's good storm now firing for size. I feel like is his money going to run out a bit? He's getting money from these kills though. See the bouncy money for the Skid Storm. And Frag Spawn from size. Is he going to type a comment with this one? I'm not sure he's in. He's in a bad way, so probably he won't be typing at the minute. He's got three scuds, but he's got a small army outside of his base. Size now losing part of his base to the angry mob. The Scud Storm is going to get picked up. Scud Storm is going to be fired for size. Is that going to be a random potluck shot somewhere around here? No. It's actually on the last remaining Scud Storm again of Fargo, but these angry mobs are doing too much damage now. I think size lost maybe a little bit too much here. Probably a bit disheartening to play a 45 minute GLA mirror and then. After all, the tryharding still end up losing the game. Buggy trade off, but I think Fargo again has just got too many uh, buggies. Too much economy. GG from size. It's going to be no GG from Fargo once again. You have nope. 5-5 five, five is the score. 44 minute game is the longest one so far, I believe. Uh, now we have GLA against Nuke on Battleship. And I'm going to eat some more of my food now, so I'll be quiet for a sec.
So I think we're all here. We're just waiting for Sai to take his army. Which will be GLA. GLA versus Nukon Battleship Bay. <clears throat> Could be the last uh, matchup if someone's able to win both ways. We shall see. Okay, so Battleship Bay. Down in the bottom left, we have the orange GLA Vanilla. For the player that is the Danish Viking, Big Size. Up at the top right, we have the blue player. We did China Nuke. This is the Lithuanian Llama. This is Fargo. <laughs> It was a Danish Viking. We call him Danish Dynamite now. Someone suggested that last stream. So we can call Fargo the Lithuanian Llama. I think that's quite fitting. <laughs> so Battleship Bay, you've got the dam. You've got the battleship. You capture the battleship, you can shoot at the dam and blow it up. Yeah, you can go through the craze, which allows the dozer to actually crush that. Truck for Fargo is getting in. Kills a bunch of workers. First Battlemaster is also on the way. Fargo building the barracks there in the middle. So far, so good for Fargo, I think. Take RPG blob from big size. He's gonna get himself a dozer. But the Battlemaster's still in all sizes workers. I, I don't honestly, unless he gets a super tech, I don't really think you can come back from losing all your workers. It is a super tech though, so that makes it spicy. So size of no workers with Fargo with no answer for a super tech. Bit of a Fargo flame wall finishes off his own truck. Excal says Malaysian magic for Vivid. I like that one actually, Malaysian magic. James Joyce is a llama's primary defense is spitting and kicking. Sounds a bit like Fargo, actually. Correct me if you think I'm wrong, but sounds quite quite like Fargo. <clears throat> oh, 
But I was sizes able to harass the trucks even from inside of there. I didn't know if it would be able to shoot or not. There is a flamer on the way. Prop is being built. It looks like Fargo's only got 160 XP, but if worker kills amounted to anything, he'd have a lot more XP because uh, he's killed so many uh, workers already. The size's economy is hurt quite a bit. It's quite hard to protect your workers on this, even a Jule mirror or whatever. It's a bit of a weird box you would have to pull off. <clears throat> is it possible to transform the bomb truck into the ship on the side of the map? With the battleship, I think you can do that because we saw Mad Rage do it once against Exile, I believe. But these ones are unselectable. So probably not those, but the battleship, I think you can because it's selectable. Yeah, that super tech is really changing things. Stopping all of these tier 1 attacks, basically. Super tech could get disabled by the ECM, though. But there's nothing to back it up. That's the only issue. Slight issue. Uh, Super Tech's got so so much value. Bit of a Fargo flame wall. Completely unnecessary flame wall there from Fargo as well. That's quite painful to watch. Oh, it would have been so beautiful if that one had exploded and chain detonated everything else. It would have been funny to watch. Supertech's still roaming around. Sai's still losing workers. He's got a problem against this Overlord ECM attack. I think Sai's just might be dead unless that Supertech just single-handedly wins the game. Sai's base is all going to die. It all stems from the beginning, him losing all them workers so quick. Yeah, GG. Fargo takes the lead for the first time in this set. No GG from Fargo. Six five is the score. Size loves his nuke though, so we might be headed towards a decider. I think it's Canyon Frost or decider. I think it was a tank mirror, but I need to check.
Okay, we're emphasized to accept. <clears throat> does Dummy want to sleep? No, Dummy does not want to sleep. In about one hour, I'll start feeling like I need to sleep, but uh, right now I'm okay. But I was just eating my food. I've been trying to eat my food over the last four or five games. <laughs> That's why I was going quiet. Up in the top right, we have the China Nuke in the orange. Fargo says he has an 80% headache, and Sai says you are a 100% headache. This is the China Nuke, which is big size. Down in the bottom left, we have the Gile Vanilla for the blue player. This is Fargo. Mm. Quite a good attempt at a box if you do a tunnel there. Pretty sure that's boxed. I wouldn't be surprised if Fargo had just, pra just practiced that in a uh, sandbox mode in skirmish quickly. Because, yeah, that is kind of nice. That's actually worked out beautiful. Imagine a battle master just goes through there and goes up there anyway, though. That'd be a problem to deal with. Size two supply. Sorry, two supplies in main base. A third supply on the expansion. And then into a second war factory. Just a little bit delayed because he went for the three supplies first. Size does love his uh, battle master spam, so I'm expecting to see plenty of those. Size also needs to win this, or he's lost the set. TNT hits the war factory. Size could have tried to repair that. It's not that bad, though. Being on three supplies, you can rebuild that pretty fast. And that other one failed. It slowed down size a little bit, and you get the XP for killing the war factory, but ultimately. Size with the three supplies can just rebuild it pretty fast. You probably delayed him by maybe two battle masters though. <clears throat> it's another TNT. There's a unit remaining there as well. Could get some trucks with that. chooses not to do anything with it. Fargo's pretty good at this. Just popping one random TNT from his uh, from his tunnels. Stops the battle masses going near tunnels. And apparently near the scorpions as well. He's just popping them all over the place. Keeping size busy. Thing to feel super comfortable though, you want to expand as the uh, as the GLA to a third. Technical coming in to the main base, but there's mines again. He's gonna kill his own stuff here. Mm, the TNT doesn't detonate. I don't really know how he's found that angle, to be honest, but he's, he has found it. The prop is up, Lotus is going to be out, and Overlord is going to be out. So I think advantage for size, although uh, Fargo has got an additional supply. But once them Overlords and Lotus is out, it's going to be really uh, problematic. What mouse am I using, says Dark Knight? I'm using a final, uh, final mouse, Cape Town 2. I think it's even got a longer name than that. I think. It's a really light mouse. They're quite hard to get, though. They've only made so many of them, and then they just stopped making them for some reason. My my first one, the click eventually went. So I had to buy another one, and I had to buy it on the secondary market, then. 
It's the company Final Mouse that made him. Only made a few. He's only like a small company or something. Random TNT is being dropped off by Fargo, and it is actually having some success. ECM taken out there, which is like three times or four times the value. Over to TNT. The Lotus is out, though, getting oils now. I like I knew there was Lotus there. Lotus is going to make a run for it. Size needs to get the uh, subliminal mesh in. And Fargo is causing a bit of problems for Size in the main base. I think Size needs to send most things over there. Including those. Maybe you can keep pushing with that. Size loses a power. Yeah, he's sending everything now over there. I think he really has to do that. He's building a new power. Because if you hold this, basically, and get on a CC, meanwhile capturing loads of stuff with your Lotus, that's good. But Fargo's on top of the Lotus, though. Killing all the oils, actually. Size does have the uh, liminal messaging now. Nobody's captured the uh, battleship. Fargo could have had it. <clears throat> TNT, probably from Fargo. Tech RPG, actually, and it's on the prop. Taking out that will be nice for Fargo. No palace in sight. He's gonna. Oh, the palace is there, actually. You're gonna need the TNT on that army at this rate. Size has his CC, so carpet and artillery. Could destroy the uh, the main base. Size has to rebuild the prop. Here's the TNT. It's not a Boyka style load. Doesn't really get anything. Doesn't get anything at all. I think we're heading towards a decider. You know, I think we are. It's a nice dry there from Fargo. TNT, that one was perfect on the Overlord, but there's another four Overlords plus ECMs on the way. And the carpet and artillery's come in. Lotus is going to try to capture the barracks. There's a few random TNTs out. Carpet, artillery, everything from size is coming over to Fargo's base. Looks like we're heading towards a decider. The artillery actually damaged. The <laughs> Did you see that worker go flying into orbit? And the bus, the, sorry, not the bus, the boat has been uh, altered. <laughs> and Fargo is gone. You have been defeated. Mm, says Size. We're heading towards the decider. 6-6 six, six is the score. I actually can't remember what I put as the decider. It's a, t it's a tank mirror on Farmlands of the Fallen is what I put. <clears throat> 
I reckon Dark Nine, you should check out a company I uh, found on Facebook. Um, look up a company called Graver Star. Yeah, G R A V A. Graver Star or Graver Star. <clears throat> Have a look at their mouse. It doesn't look that much different to my mouse. It looks super light. And it's probably a lot cheaper. But I don't know if they sell to Europe, actually. You have to you have to check. I personally wouldn't get a, wire, a wireless mouse. <clears throat> because one day it will run out mid-game. Even if you last six months... By charging it every night or charging it every week or whatever. One day, you know it's going to get you. It's going to run out in game. And do you ever want that moment? Do you ever even want that risk on your mind? Personally, I don't. Okay, Tank Mirror, Farmlands of the Fallen. Next game wins. Final decider of the night. 6-6 six, six is the score. Down to the bottom left with the China tank for the orange player, Danish Dynamite. This is big size. For Fargo, all the way up in the top right with the blue. Lithuanian Llama, China tank, it is Fargo. So he's dropped the barracks to see what size is doing. Make sure he's not sneaking out on oil. <clears throat> it's going to be a double supply, double war factory from both players. What I actually find on this map is a, f a flamer and an outpost push. Like if I was Fargo, flamer and an outpost to here. That's the same for size, flamer and an outpost to here. Because the uh, outpost will scare off most things. The flamer will clear any infantry and is also good against scats. Um, and if you get it in, flame start flaming the base. Usually uh, very good. Fargo is going straight across the map though. With his first outpost. Outpost from Size as well. Size coming in with the gat. He's going to get some economic damage done here. Don't know if Fargo is going to be able to stop that. Yeah, already Fargo losing trucks. Fargo is going to win that engagement there against the outpost though. Yeah, this is Ag from Fargo. It seems to be doing okay, actually. He's cleared up that in his base. Flame has been locked onto by a Battlemaster in the bottom right. Those two RPGs survived, so that tank is in danger. Excal saying there's a 2v2 on after this. Hmm, getting a bit late, isn't it? <clears throat> let's see. Let's see if all the players are available after this. If so, maybe we stay on. Like, is Sai going to really want to start a 2v2 50k? Uh, <laughs> what time is it in his country? Is he two hours ahead or one hour ahead of the UK? I don't know. If, if all the players are available, make the group. I'll, I'll do it.
A time step. Is he not tucked in bed by his mummy now? <laughs> okay, game is kind of stabilizing after the initial couple of units in the base. Fargo's now building a uh, barracks and a prop. There's a flamer here from size. That could be game ended if it gets in. I think Fargo spotted it. Yeah, there's a few battle masters out now, so Fargo uh, shouldn't be taking any damage from that flamer, I don't think. <clears throat> Prop and barracks up for both players. It's pretty much exactly the same build for both players. Size pushing a little bit here on this oil, but I think he might get cleared eventually. Size could have actually gone inside of there because there's no gat or flamer there. But Size has what looks to be more control of the map. He's got more control here. He's got more control here. And he's building a supply over here. Now applying pressure through the middle. Argo scrambling to the defense. Size could get surrounded here by a few units there. And also this big blob coming in from the side. Size ahead and XP, almost double of what Fargo's got. size I would say he is in the lead because he's got this little bit of an attack going on inside of Fargo's base size has that on lockdown but Fargo is pushing here though and I think that oil is going to die but can um, Fargo hold this inside of his base Yeah, so I sacrifice some battle masters there to pick off a uh, supply. I don't know if that makes too much sense. <laughs> the supply even survived. The supply was empty anyway. It doesn't make any difference. Fargo now ahead in XP. He's mixing in troop crawlers within his armies. Size so collecting on both extremes of the map. Fargo can now clear this position. Artillery from size. I 
Yeah, science is actually collecting at the minute on three mid supplies. But not for long, though. This is this position here is going to get cleared. Artillery from size is taking out the main supply. Not too sure. Have we seen the artillery from Fargo? Has he just not clicked it? <laughs> Don't know. It's staying. Crop of size gets picked off. Size is sending too many of his weak units to the front. The battle masters need to be more there, I think. Flame is okay. You do need to take off, take out the uh, infantry as well. I'll go on the run. I go as a bit of an army at the bottom right as well, though. His size spreading himself too thin, though. Fargo's just got two whole armies, but size is kind of a little bit everywhere. Size going into the base now of Fargo. It's a nice mix of units. Could be a mind drop there from size. Could be perfect as well. That mind drop is game changing. Because now that army can't even run to defend this. And size can just go in and kill the main base now. Fargo is here, but he's got his two armies on the two extremes of the map. Meanwhile, size doesn't care. He's just going straight through the middle. Don't think Fargo's even realized about those mines, but he's going to get a nasty surprise when he moves it off. Fargo did capture a uh, supply. Oh, Fargo did realize. Yeah, he has realized. Autoloader, autoloader. Size should be able to hold that, I think. But I'm not convinced that Fargo can hold this. Fargo's whole army is just stuck on the mines, man. What the hell? The, the dozer can't even get to the mines. It's just stuck. Size is holding that, but Fargo can't hold this. Oh, maybe Troop Crawler. With the autoloaders, though, he's just killing the Red Guard as well. Oh, the tanks have moved now. But they need to be running all the way over here because Fargo's losing in two places. But this army's not doing anything. It could have been going in the base, could have cleared all the base, it could have rushed over here to defend. There's a few tank enters here now for Fargo. Fargo looking to expand down at the bottom right. The tank enters are going to change things here, actually. That's going to be fended off now. Lotus for Fargo. It's, oh no, big size even from the capture the supply. EMP has disabled a lot of sizes army. This game, man, is a bit like a roller coaster. Fargo's now in a commanding position. Not quite sure how he's pulled that off. Size is uh, not level five yet. Fargo is. Fargo's now collecting from both for the sides of the map. Flamer from size there. He has that oil, but it's being capped back. It's kind of all over the place, this game. Fargo has so many battle masters there, and most of this is like Gats and uh, Flamers and stuff. Another mind drop, but this time from Fargo. I mean, Fargo's in three strong positions. He's there in the middle, he's there. He's there, he's collecting on top left. There is a flamer in Fargo's base, though. That could change things. Fargo knows about it. So the size is going to get level 5 now. So EMP is ready. But the uh, CC of Fargo is getting killed. Battlemaster here, but will the CC die in time? CC goes down, but can be rebuilt on any of the extremes of the map. Carpet bomb coming in. It's going to be on that position. Oh, no, it's going to be on the supply, actually. 
Would be beautiful on that army. EMP from size is going to disable the tanks here. Should be a perfect EMP. Oh man, what's... What? Where's the EMP from size? Tank job. Size is saving the EMP for a rainy day. Artillery now from size. That's going to be on the top supply position. Fargo will still be left with one oil though. Good artillery. Okay, this game is about to get super interesting because size has held and actually has army advantage now. But Fargo just always camping in a, in a spot in the corner is kind of strange actually. <laughs> like if size goes through the middle now again, I don't know, maybe Fargo could hold with a tank hunter. <clears throat> Artillery coming in. Misses, but it was a good try, I suppose, the army. Carpet from Fargo, and that is going to be legendary. That's going to change the game massively. Hits most of Size's army. And I don't know if Size can continue past that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, wait, he's still with the engagement. How? I don't know how he's done that. Fargo's bringing part of his army to help in the mid. He's going to get a size supply there. Size cancels the supply. Is that an EMP? I don't know. It has to be. So weird from size. Why didn't he use it before on one of the armies? That's when it's most impactful. I don't know... No, Sice knows he's not hunted because uh, the uh, the support powers before. Don't know what that carpet's doing. I don't know, man. So many support powers from Size a bit dodgy. I think uh, Size has finally lost it. What a crazy game for the last match. Well, size after four hours of gaming has lost the set against Fargo. Throw says size. GG. No GG. Talk to me says Fargo. You have no been. GG from Fargo. The whole set. Size takes the set. No wait. Fargo takes the set. Seven six. Yeah, well played, Fargo. Shame about the attitude. Okay, I asked the players about this 2v2. <clears throat> Fargo.
Okay, don't go anywhere. Don't go to bed. 2v2, 50k. Now on the cards. Excal will be playing with Fargo against Size and Tumstep. Okay, it's going to be 2v2, 50k. Next. $75 sponsored by Ahmad Sabora. So, yeah, don't go anywhere. If you got to go to bed, I understand. If you don't have work tomorrow, then I don't understand. <laughs> right, China, China theme seven. Rock mix. Right, I'll grab a drink while we're waiting for that. 2v2.50k is up next.
Okay. Looks like Tom Step's not here. <laughs> Extra late night gaming. Well, to be honest, uh, last night I had a really good sleep because the night before last night I had a really bad sleep. My little boy kept me up late and then woke me up in the morning. <laughs> I only had like three hours sleep two nights ago. So last night I slept like 15 hours or something crazy. So I only woke up like um, about 11 a.m. I didn't get out of bed until 12 midday today. So I do have a bit of energy for it, but the thing is, I'm going to be tired again. Okay, still waiting for Tim Step. Hmm, where is uh, some step? That's the question.
<laughs> Someone in the chat. Ahmed says he's probably getting spanked right now. <laughs> probably because he has to put on the PC a little bit too late. <laughs> Some set status is just tired on Discord. So take from that what you will. He lives in France, so it's quarter to one his time. How many TNTs kill a Scud Storm, Ali Reza said? Um, well, it's 13 regular TNTs to kill a CC. But to kill a Scud Storm is probably going to be the same. I feel like a CC and a Scud probably has about the same HP, I haven't tested it to be honest. Finish your game in Counter Strike. <laughs> We've only got 350 people waiting. <laughs> Somebody found his mum. Okay, Tim Steps here, apparently.
Okay, few more minutes apparently. Um, some stuff needs the toilet. I went for size. It's 17 minutes break. Is that? No, wait, we're 22 minutes break. So this last game. Yeah, 22 minute break. <clears throat> it's not that bad in the grand scheme of things. They were just playing for four and a half hours, I suppose, or four hours. Okay, China demo. The difference here is it's 50k. Don't know if this has been done before, actually. All right, China demo, 50K, 2v2. <clears throat> so down in the bottom right, we have the China vanilla for the orange player, which is a big size. You can see... Excal has queued one more dozen in size already. Up in the top right, with the Cyan Gilead demolition, this is... Some step. Top left, we have the purple China vanilla, which is Excal. 
And down in the bottom left, we have the blue July Demolition for the player that is Fargo. So Xgal moving out with a few RPGs. It's Red Guard wants to probably build a bunker there. Just going to go mass mix with three war factories as well, though. Going to be four war factories or five war factories actually from Fargo. Four war factories from Tumstep. He needs to build more workers on his main. He's just been playing Counter-Strike, so how is his muscle memory going to be playing RTS games? We'll see. Four quads already out for time step. Size is going Migs as well, but he's also gone for fast napalm and loads of flamers everywhere. Migs already out for Xgal. He's already got the napalm as well. Some step with a lot of quads out. And Fargo is going for a lot of scorpions actually. Mixed in with some quads. Palace being built by him as well, and Palace being built by Tumstep. Tumstep's looking on the ball, actually. Exile with a lot of mix. Just gonna hit a ton of quads here for Tumstep. Does hit a lot of quads. Only one or two MIGs went down there, but he did kill a lot of quads for it. The third MIG uh, did go down in the end, though, coming in by itself. A lot of scorpions here for Fargo. Sais so holds this area. He's got MIGs of his own. Uh, Excal, yeah, he went for three airfields. Looking like advantage, uh, some step size, actually. They got more map control. They got the oils on both sides. Excal coming in with a big MIG hit on the bottom right by the looks of things. Some step now killing the refinery there in the middle. Size with his own mix. Yeah, these games do pick up quick with 50k, you're right. You build massive armies very, very fast. You basically just don't see all the little fiddly bits of micro in the beginning. You just see massive armies and a full base from the very beginning. Some people might actually prefer to watch that. As a viewer, you might actually very much prefer to, prefer to watch it. Mix continually for uh, Xgal. Helping out um, Fargo on the south spot. There's a few MIGs there. Sorry, a few GATs there for uh, size. They take out one MIG. Artillery and a carpet coming in from big size. I'd say Tumstep either needs to support here or needs to do some damage on the top. Yeah, carpet and artillery is coming in. It's going to be on this top supply by the looks of things. Carpet took damage from the artillery again. Uh, supply gets wiped. Yeah, it very quickly turns from spamming, spamming all your money, spending it all on units, making a massive army, very quickly to being as conservative as possible then, because you very quickly realize you're just on a normal map. You don't have 72 supplies.
Mexico just flying around with his MiGs looking for a target. There's a lot of quads here though. I'm not so sure about that attack. Three or four MiGs died. Did kill a bunch of quads though, so probably overall worth it. But some step does have the eco advantage. Worth knowing as well that Excal has that and not Fargo. I probably would rather see it in the hands of uh, the GLA, to be honest. But I think Excal stuck it because he probably thinks he can spend it better than Fargo in team games. Carbon artillery will hit the uh, oils at the top. Worker needs to repair it ASAP, but I don't think it's savable anyway. Salvageable. Yes, them oils get cleared, but some step is now pushing to the mid. Size coming in with a mix to support as well. Excal comes in with his own mix. Legendary hit as usual from Excal. So resetting those quads a lot. Some step got half the amount of XP. Of what Excal has, despite um, being a GLA against the China Vanilla. Just shows you how efficient the MiGs, MiG hits have been. New cannon will be upgrading the uh, neutron shells now. Mine drop from Excal. Carpet bomb coming in. There's only one truck collecting there. Argo. Uh, Pretty much just chilling inside of his base. Mind drop inside of uh, his base as well. I say it's once again from Excal. Ooh. It was Rebel Ambush actually on top of the quad pop. So that gives uh, size a bit of free time now to hit Fargo's base because uh, the quads have been reset. <clears throat> Some step with the beacon on the mines. I think uh, size and Some step are actually playing pretty well together, considering Some steps just come from Counter Strike. Size has just come from a loss against Fargo. Mix take out a carpet. That's a nice hit there from size. Mix coming in also from Excal on the oils. That uh, oil doesn't seem to have firestormed. Some step beacon in the oil. A lot of flamers here from size. Some step with a massive army. This is the cyan and orange army here. All the dots all over the map. It's absolutely massive. Is Excal going to get the chance to fire that? Uh, nuke. Not so sure. This time Step's really pushing in. Rebel Ambush on top of the quads does pick off a lot, but the, the MiGs are coming in for size. Hits the main supply there of Fargo. Fargo's cash is going to be hurting a lot after that. Carpet coming in as well. Your yeah, Fargo's just getting absolutely obliterated, actually. Size not messing around. You might have lost the 1v1 set, but Size not messing around in 2v2. Yeah, Excal should have neutrons. He has got neutrons, actually, so he could be giving Fargo power. I don't know if it's going to help Fargo much, though, because he doesn't have that much cash. He'd quickly spend the cash, and that would be it. Is Excal hitting that tunnel, though? 
Yeah, he just killed at least one thing inside of there. Don't think some steps going to go back inside of the tunnel now. Nuclear missile for size. Size wasted in quite a few MIGs there. Not sure where that MIG's going. Size messing up the micro here on some of his units. To say the least. But lucky enough for Tumstep. Step. I mean, lucky enough for Size, Tumstep Step is all over the place. Xcar hasn't given Fargo power, but I think it's just because Fargo hasn't got the cash for it. They also need that supply because currently they're enjoying a three supply lead, the right side team in the middle. Ooh, Neutron's hit this again, but Rebel Ambush has cleared it. Some step now coming in with a massive army of quads. Carpet in the middle hits some quads. I think most of them have been cleared. AP ammo is in play. No junk repair from some step. Size floating 12k, as you do. Ronnie Haddad in the chat says, who am I cheering? I'm not cheering anyone. I just hope, I, the only thing I hope for genuinely, my honest thoughts in this set is that it's balanced. I actually thought Excal and Fargo might be OP. But so far that looks like I'm wrong. I don't I don't cheer for anyone, I literally don't care. I don't win any money if they win or lose. It's seventy five dollars that the teams win. Doesn't make any difference to me. The only the only thing I hope for is genuinely genuinely that these matches are balanced and not just one sided. Like the size Fargo set, that was epic and mega balanced. And this one here so far, well, seemingly balanced because Excal is trying to make something happen here. He's coming in with the uh, elixirs. But Size is surely just going to take off with a mix and come and help there. Nuke for Excal as well. Both airfields survived though because the nuke. Uh, someone needs to look at that in the patch. <laughs> Someone needs to look at that. Right, we need to choose a new matchup for them to play. I was thinking, like, GLA Nuke. No, what did we just have then? We had uh, Demo China. <clears throat> so I was thinking, like... Uh, maybe let's do, like, USA Infantry on Lone Eagle or something. USA Inf crisscross. I'll wait till size is in to say it. Alan says, how much is the winning cash? $75 here. Again, by Ahmad Sabora. <clears throat> so going to play in some step at USA. Um, tell me in the chat, by the way, what do you think will be the next good match? We have to kind of stick to official or maps that Fargo knows. <laughs> I think it was Fargo. <laughs> Go 
Kings Cross Fargo style. <laughs> Okay, USA Inf. Excal down in the south spot with the purple USA Vanilla. No doubt this is going to be a toe V spam. This is Excal. Uh, left side, far left side is the blue infantry for Fargo. Uh, right at the top of the map, we've got the USA Vanilla for the same player that is Tumstep. And then over on the far right side, we've got the orange infantry player, Danish Dynamite. This is big size. So a big size is Danish Dynamite. Fargo is Lithuanian Llama. Tumstep. Timmy Time. <laughs> Timmy Time and Xgal. Uh, hmm, I don't know what I think about X-Cals. Electric x -Cal? No, it doesn't really... I need to think about x -Cal's nickname. x -Cal's coming in with a drop on the oils. It is a dozer. It's going to build a vanilla patriot. Size going for a mixture of war factories. He's got a bunker in x -Cal's base. Uh, it's actually kind of nice that from size. <laughs> That's actually quite admirable <laughs> what he's doing there. And some steps dealing with that dozer as well. It's actually uh, kind of beautiful. This can now start killing the war factories. It depends if something comes out of there before that bunk is finished. But I think size is on it. Size is uh, actually doing very, very well there. What, what a 250 IQ there from size. It's actually causing some problems here for Excal. <clears throat> size can now load that up and pick off that one. Um. It's interesting, man. It is interesting. Excal's going to commit to the fight here. He did the drone above it to distract the fire. Size needs to get inside of these bunkers faster. All the drones are distracting the fire. Meanwhile, Marikar... Sorry, not Marikar. I, keep, I think he's Marikar because of the cyan color. Well, it was actually quite a good fight for Exgal in the end. I actually thought he was kind of in big trouble there, but there's a lot of Vs gone down, but still... I suppose it's still even, isn't it? Because Size has this next wave ready to go. He's just kept Exgal busy and distracted with that, basically, from the bunkers. I do feel like the targeting with the bunkers could have been a bit better. But Fargo is really struggling against Tumstep. Yeah, it's Tumstep, not Marikar. Tumstep has enough fire bases. Uh, rally a few more Vs there. You might be able to hold that. But meanwhile, go across the map and kill x -Gal with that. Could be kind of good. Very interesting fight in 50k games. Tumstep only just getting the oils. x -Gal already had it. Already has it even. Fargo is entering the base. Tumstep doesn't seem to have enough cash to defend. Mig's coming across the map to try and help. But those Mig's are going to be needed very soon back here. Uh, I think bunkers are going to be needed here from size, actually. He has more outposts ready to go. Excal coming across with a load of Vs, but he's going to run into a load of outposts. Definitely think bunkers are going to be needed here. Because then you seal off those bridges entirely. Excal now moving out to the middle. Size does have mix. Some step with a big blob of Vs, but Excal is also there. Bunker being dropped down again from Size. Size wants to put at least one tank enter in some of these bunkers. Excal now with a big wave of these here in the middle. <clears throat> Fargo is entering the base of Tumstep once again. He might get all of these dozers. The drop zone and the strat could be a good target. 
I think some ECMs mixed in for size would not be a bad idea. The MIG's coming in. MIG's are actually going to go and help in some sort of space or not, actually. I don't know. What's he going to hit? He's going to hit this middle one. Does wipe out all of that in the middle. But some step probably could have done with help there, actually. I suppose size is holding his own. Gonna burn a bit overkill there from the mix. I think size needs to help out a bit more here. Uh, they're still dealing with that. But that should have been dealt with first, I think. X actually going back. Carpet bomb. Oh, he's killed the strat. All to do is kill the strat. Carpet has what? Killed the wolf factory? Damaged the wolf factory? Excal taking damage on these Vs when he's moving away. The, without this strat, that's going to be uh, a lot weaker, that army there of Excal. A10 coming in. It's going to hit the mix while they're on the ground. Let's kill a full airfield of mix. Got to remember, Excal has a two oil advantage over size, but Tomstep has a two oil advantage over um, Fargo. Fargo's now coming in with more of these. So, really. Fargo with an oil disadvantage whilst also supporting some step a bit. He's actually doing kind of well to hold Excal back there. But some step definitely needs to deal with these base attacks. It's like the third time now. Double A10 will kill one of the Excal oils. Excal rebuilding his strap. Lotus gets picked off. Mind drop. He's going to hold Excal back, but Size has not boxed this off properly. He's not uh, walled it off. They might be able to push now, though, with this big outpost ECM V army. He's getting subliminal messaging boost on the Vs. Makes coming in for Size. One MIG for one outpost. About even. Carpet bomb from Fargo. It's a bunch of size stuff. Besides not using all of his army here. Only using part of it. That's quite an important fight, and I think uh, size time step coming out on top there. Artillery's going to hit the strat. Oh no, it doesn't even kill the strat. It kills a power. Okay, X got lost a ton of stuff there, you know. I think time step could retreat and fight with fire bases. Rangers here might actually cause a problem. Mix from size. Nice sits. 50k games is actually kind of nice. 2v2. <clears throat> Alan in the chat says uh, he hasn't played the game for years and he was surprised to see gameplay on YouTube. Yeah, I suppose it is quite surprising. It's over 20 years old now, isn't it? 20, is it 21? 21 this year, I think. Um, Generals. I think Generals came out in like March, and then Zero Expansion came out in like September of 2003. Yeah, MIG hit's not quite as good as when Excal has control. It was four MIGs on one V, I think. Nice carpet from size, it actually gets through. Kills the wall factory, nice. Nice from big size. 
He's making hackers there. I don't know if I agree with hackers. Maybe, yeah, maybe three hackers is okay. Mine's there in the middle from both teams. That's from the left team and that's from the right team. But I think with all this stuff now, surely they can just descend on this position here where this one five base is and just break through. Yeah, Fargo will come through, but all of them could just ru run through here or just go in here with size. Wolf actually there, Excal gets picked off. Carpet from Fargo misses the target. I mean, so far, I actually quite enjoy watching 50k TV2. Seems newbie at first glance, but it's actually not that bad. Size gets in with his army now, and also the whole of Excal's front has basically been broken. It's all reliant on Fargo now. Excel and Fargo have the same XP. Size has played the beast here. It's 5,000. We need a matchup for the next map. Any ideas in the chat? I'm thinking like... Uh, to have a nuke in there. Nuke... Stealth or tank stealth. I think nuke stealth could be good. Uh, maybe tank stealth. Yeah, tank stealth. Oh, the dozer of Exile gets hunted. GG. GG, GG. Tank stealth you on Volcano could be beautiful, actually. Tank stealth on Volcano could be very nice. Okay, so they could have a couple of mini 1v1s here, basically. Three against four is Fargo against... No, wait. Three against two is Fargo against uh, Tumstep. And on the other side is uh, Excal against Sizer's Tank. So it's like you can have too many 1v1s, I think. I don't know how much support in there's going to be in this. Let's see. Uh, I have updated the scoreboard, haven't I? Isn't it 2 0 size time step? <clears throat> I 
Okay, down at the bottom right, we've got Big Size with the Orange China Tank. Down at the bottom left, supporting him, we have the GLA Stealth with the Cyan, which is Tem Step. Top left, we have the Blue China Tank, which is Fargo. Top right, we have the Purple GLA Stealth, which is Excal. 50k. I think he will hijack first. Couple of TNTs, stop any potential truck rush. And then into an oil and into a fast palace. Three arms dealers. From Excal plus 29 tunnels. It's going to be the ultimate defense against the ultimate attack. <laughs> On both sides. Four arms the elusive time step. That's the difference. Um, needs to sell that supply, ideally. Next guy with the first technical out. Any hijacker? I don't know if we've seen any hijacker. First technical, that's purely a distraction. That. There's nothing inside of it. TNT from Fargo. No, wait, from um, Excal. Killed one truck. Some step rushing out of Palace. Excal rushing out of Palace. They're both exactly the same. It's a hijacker. He's stolen a dozer. Well played there from Excal. Very, very nice. He's got a power and a CC. And Size is now going to feel the pressure to make something happen. Uh, Size has not gone for an outpost. Oh, he has gone for an outpost. But they went for it too late. <laughs> X-Gal's running around with a dozer. Yeah, that's... Uh, very good for x -Gal, Very bad news for Size. Size is going to need to put on so much pressure now. GLA with power builds twice as fast, pretty much. In case you didn't know. But Size does like a flamer push against tunnels. Mainly quads for Tumstep against mainly tunnels and buses for Excal. So Excal now with the battle buses. It's building a skid storm as well. It's really going to apply the pressure to Size. Size now needs Mix to deal with the buses. Size is going to give away so much XP now though from the Battle Masters. Yeah, that power was a game changer. Excal is just wrecking on the right side now. There's another hijacker here. Tum Step's going to need to do something basically. In a 1v1 here, Size against Excal, Size is going to lose. Size coming in with his artillery. The flame is stolen there. Time step helping out over here with an artillery platform. Size needs to do something about these battle buses. I think Mix is the only way, to be honest. Okay, battle bus is out. It's kind of going this, the same way on both sides. The only difference is that. Um, Excal has power and he's rushed out of Scud very, very quick. Mix coming in from Fargo. Takes out one of the buses. Yeah, that dose of steel from Excal was legendary. The thing is, has Excal got enough cash to... Well, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> the missiles from the Mix. Because Fargo's taking the oil seas, so... Excal might have power, but he might still get low on cash. Especially if size starts harassing them workers, maybe the occasional MIG just picks off some workers. Hmm. So Tumstep having more success maybe on the left, because he's now gained this ground. 
Whereas Excal doesn't have this ground. Nobody has this oil for the top team. So many Battlemasters here for size and no ECM as well. Like we're still running around capturing artillery platforms as you do. A lot of RPGs here going to wreck uh, Fargo's army. Some stuff actually has the most XP indicating that Fargo's wasted the most tanks. Which is kind of unbelievable. I, I'm confused how Excel only has 200 XP after shredding all these um, Battlemasters. But Excal's Scudstorm could be um, a big problem for the South team. Like, just a Scud there could be devastating. Or at the back of the Minx. Yeah, Fargo did take this oil, but he didn't take his own until very late. So I see again in a lot of XP from killing the Battlemasters of Fargo. You see the XP difference. Tumstep and Size killed a lot more than Excal and Fargo. Excal is trying to get these uh, busters to do some damage. Size does have the uh, auto to upgrade. These busters are getting picked off by uh, Size, actually. There's even another one here. The size does not even need an ECM, apparently. He's got 14k in the bank. But that's good, Storm, though. If it's here, it could cause a big, big hole in the. Uh, Size is base. Anthrax bomb now from some step. That's going to cause a problem here. And a sneak attack in Excal's base just when the Scud's about to fire. Oh, he's just stealthed it. It's absolute chaos here. That's good, Storm. Is it going to feel the pressure to shoot? Does he know where? It, does he remember where it is? He needs to force fire. The scud's going to fire, and he's right next to it. He's found it. It's going to have to fire it somewhere. <laughs> oh my god! He's going to have to fire it there. No, it's going to die. Whoa! Legendary pick off there from Tom Step. Meanwhile, Size is pushing the front. Really, really <laughs> legendary there from Tom Step. Fargo quits. Going to give Excal everything. See if he can work his magic. But I don't think even Excal can come back from this. Against two players. Excal against two men. <laughs> it's, it's too hard to handle. You've got two lots of micro. They've got bigger bigger and better bases. I don't think Excal can do anything there. Yeah, if there's a man for the job, probably it will be Excal, but one man against two man. <laughs> I know that's going to be hard. I think Fargo thought this was going to be an easy victory uh, teaming up with Excal, but not today, apparently. Tom Step saying no. Tom Step is looking a bit like a monster. I'm not so sure about his pure quad spam in the beginning though but seems to do pretty well you gg from xcal gg well played 
so far, size stem step, putting in absolute amazing work. Now we need to choose the next matchup. I'm thinking like some kind of um, China. What China nuke crisscross? Trying to avoid GLAs. I think that'll go too long. China and nuke crisscross. What did we what did we just have? We had stealthy tank. Now China new cross. Could I have air tox next. I'm trying I'm trying to avoid like long campy GLA games because I think we've seen enough of that tonight. <laughs> Uh, air and tox could be kind of good. Okay, so we've got four against five. Four is Excal. And Excal is nuke against size is China. Fast air keeps tagging me in the chat saying scoreboard, but <laughs> I keep updating the scoreboard. I've been on it all night. Oh, he needed to scroll. Okay. <laughs> I updated the scoreboard for 13 games before, and now these three here, that's 16 in total. I haven't failed to do the scoreboard all night. Okay, I think we're going to get nukes rushed here. From... Actually, a super weapon could be good here as well, couldn't it? Like, super weapon and air... Crisscross. Could be good. <clears throat> anyway, top left, we've got big size with the orange China vanilla. Uh, top of the map in the middle, alongside him, we've got Tum Step with the China Nuke in the cyan color. And right at the south spot, we have the China Nuke for the purple, which is Excal. And then down in the bottom right, we have the China vanilla for the blue player. This is Fargo. War Factory versus War Factory here. I think uh, x Gals is quite a lot faster there. So I was going for lesser War Factories and then into a Helix. But if that's a Flamer from x Gal, uh, that War Factory is dead as far as I'm concerned. It is. So that's quite a good start there for x Gal. I don't know if any size unit will come out. I don't think so. If it does, it's going to go straight into a flamer. Could be a flamer itself. No, it's outpost. So size off to quite a bad start there. But there's Battlemasters rallied across from Tumstep. Supporting, actually. So that could come in clutch. That could give size the much needed help that he needs, actually. Uh, Fargo's making he helixes, but <laughs> Tom Step seems to be on it. He's got a lot of gats. Fargo's sending a dozer to the middle, which is getting stopped. Yeah, Excal's decent start there has all been shut down by the help of um, Tom Step's Battlemasters. Size has got a war factory here. What the? Legendary Size. If that, if that does something, that's legendary. Thing is, x has Oh no, so Fargo's got Lixes, so... They could go over to that position. 
Actually, I'll send in a Battlemaster down there. Fargo's Lixis are making up for the Tum Step support we saw earlier. Yeah, Flamish from Size are getting stopped. A lot of things from Size are getting stopped in general, actually. Tom Step is the first of the nuke out. Uh, Excals is on the way, but it's unlike him, actually, to be a bit slower than the uh, opposing team rushing a nuke out. But Excal and Fargo both seem to have the sides for now. But Tom Step wants to clear this position. There's five Lixers, though, for Fargo. <clears throat> Dark Knight says, do Jilly Vanilla and China Vanilla. We already kind of had that at the beginning. We had China and Demo on Tournament A. So it's already kind of the same, really. We didn't even really see that many Demo bikes or anything. It was kind of just the China... China GLA. Vargo is in the base of Tumstep, though. He's wrecking uh, War Factory. So there's Gats here for Tumstep. And the Lixers are getting stopped. Gat also out for size. Pandemonium with 50k. <laughs> Artillery from Tumstep. Size has got his uh, Lixers out now. Prop of Tumstep gets picked off. Artillery of Tumstep is going to be on the Excal airfield, actually. Gets the dozer, too. Tumstep has the oil and the refinery in the top right. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, the nuke mix are out and four Lixers of Fargo just went down. Oh, man, that's bad for uh, for Fargo. Fargo's getting stomped on his side. Whoa, where is that Overlord even going? <laughs> Beacon from Fargo. He needs support from the Excal. Fargo comes in with the carpet, with the overlords move forward. Size having more success over on the left. Artillery from Excal on the Tum Step base. Tum Step's nuke is ready to fire first. But that um, artillery... I was going to say, if it's on those two powers, that's quite a vulnerable spot. But it's actually between the two airfields. Tum Step building his base very compact. Loses both airfields. Got one nuke mig in the air, though. Size so coming in with a carpet. Quite a nice carpet. Ooh, if it had hit a few more hits, it would have killed both the supply and the war factory, but the artillery is going to finish it anyway. Excal with the nuke mix just circling around on his base. There's a flamer coming in. Oh, the artillery. Where did that land? Is it just me or did that take eight just to land? Wow. That's a nice hit there from Excal. Mm, I still think advantage South team might be getting themselves on the scoreboard here. Actually, Super Weapon and Tox could be good next. Super Weapon Tox. Need to think of the map.
cheap weapon and toxic on District 10, that, uh, the damn map. <laughs> Could be funny. Yeah, X guy with some nice make hits. As usual, his air hits are always spot on. Control groups always uh, on point. X guy's oil alive. He's also won this left side and uh, he's putting pressure on the mid too. So he's flying around with these Lixis. Same step still on four war factories in his base. So he's picks off the supply, but I'm afraid he's hanging around too long because Excal is now probably locked on with the nuke mix, or is he? He's gonna be, yeah, he's locked on with the nuke mix. Pretty sure those helixes are dead. Poor helixes, man, they get shredded by the nuke mix. Yeah, looking good for Excal and Fargo, this one. Nuke is fired from some step. Somewhere around here. But you see, it doesn't really kill airfields. It's kind of ridiculous how it doesn't kill airfields. Between there, how it doesn't kill it is ridiculous, honestly. Needs to be sorted out that. Could be between there. Nuke's getting captured as well. Okay, well played, Excal and Fargo get himself on the scoreboard there with one point. Three one is now the score to time step and size. Right, we're gonna see soup weapon and tox on Um, Super Weapon Talks on Burning Deadline. Wait for Excal to drain.
<clears throat> okay, so down in south on Burning Deadline. This is the super weapon with the purple. This is Excal. Down in the bottom left with the blue GLA Tox. This is Fargo. Top left, we have the orange player with the super weapon. This is Big Size. And all the way up in the top right, we have the sign player with the GLA Tox, which is Time Step. It'll be 2 a.m. where Time Step is, 2 a.m. where Size is. It's 1 a.m. where Fargo is, and 1 a.m. where. Excal is because me, Excal, and Fargo all live in the UK. So, size going for three war factories. Excal going for three war factories. Excal's coming in with a. Drop. Is that going to be a dozer drop in the back there? Or did he make some missile defenders for that? It's missile defenders and a dozer. He's going to try to build an EMP. Is size going to be able to stop that? He needs to get over there fast. Yeah, size is getting hit pretty bad there. And size is not reacting to it at all. Excal Chinook escapes the EMP. Nice start there from Excal. Really nice. EMP gets up. Size so building a strat. Excal building a strat. Doesn't it look pretty. <laughs> Excal's building an every EMP inside of Size's base. That's kind of caught them off guard, hasn't it? I mean, maybe Size can do some massive attack now with the Vs. They could go through there together. Need to do something because that drop has royally screwed him. Yeah, problem is now. The search and destroy V is running around inside of Fargo's base. Meanwhile, Fargo's also getting cleared by some step from here. So, a bit of a mixed bag here. Nice unload from Size. Lays looks one of the Vs there of Excal. Be nice for Size if he can reset the palace. Size is quite a nice fight so far. Only problem is all the 45 EMPs inside of his base. Just a slight issue there. Some step wanting to attack with Scorpions, but I don't know if he's going to have success against those two EMPs. More EMPs being deployed by Excal, and the Aurora's coming in as well. Only one Scorpion went down. I mean, at least Time Step tried. It's going to be hard for the Tox to get anything done there now. Okay, Excal's now finally getting cleared from Size's base with the help of these buggies. Size loses power. With the Alphas in play. Oh my, that is going to be a beast of a hit. Oh my god. That was bad. <laughs> Top team. Excellent hit by Excal. Excal's playing legendary in the last couple of games. Space of gunship from size. It's gonna hit 
the power and the airfield. Gets the Aurora. Gets the power. Spectre from Excal. It's funny how we, um, when we're talking about, like, balance in the game and zero is not balanced, blah, blah, blah. But actually, every map you change and every value of money that you start with you change, like 10k, 20k, 50k, whatever, it changes as well. Like, in a 50k game, do you prefer, would you prefer a Tox or a Super Weapon on a 1v1 on this map? Would you prefer a Tox or a Super Weapon on 10k on TD? It's two different two different questions and two different answers, isn't it? You probably in a 50k game, you probably pick the super weapon against the Tox here. So, on that regard, do you balance the game? Do you, do you buff super weapon in a, in a potential patch? One v one 50k super weapon against Tox on any map, actually. Which one would you prefer to pick? Because the Aurora's EMPs and cheap super weapons. And cheap particles. Hmm. It's not as bad as 10k 1v1, is it? The South team seems to be doing pretty well this time. The last couple of games, actually. Yeah, x -Guy had a very clear understanding of what to do this game. That drop in the beginning could have so easily been dealt with by size. He had a fully loaded V ready to go. He could have watched it and could have intercepted it. Could have stopped the dozer at least. Size has still not even collected the rest of his crates in his back of his base. Mm. And Tempstep doesn't have that, whereas size does. And Fargo's even been given that. Look at Excal's uh, XP there, crazy. Some step when he loses, just accuses of bugs. <laughs> well, searching is sure he's not even set for size. The Aurora is just coming in to clear everything. I think it's looking pretty good for the South team. X Gal and Fargo looking at another win. Rebel ambush on the buggies. Alpha's coming in. That's a nice hit from Excal. Perfect hit, actually. Yeah, the South team have this. You have been defeated. GG. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm 
thinking um Ch if I uh, write it out China China GLA versus USA China could that be good China GLA versus USA China Uh, China GLA is it is it balanced? GLA China versus USA China. So they've picked China and USA first. I have no idea how this is going to play out. It's like kind of like I'm trying to think in my mind like of balanced things that could play out nicely. <laughs> okay, so X Gals USA. Supported by Fargo's China. Some steps GLA is going to be powerful here, I think, and sizes China's support. Tarek says, Am I already back from vacation? Uh, I wasn't on vac vacation. I was on a uh, work trip for a week, and yeah, I'm back. <laughs> I mean, I took my stream set up with me to uh, Finland. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> in the top right, we've got USA Vanilla for the purple player, which is Excal, supported alongside Fargo with a China Vanilla in the blue. Then the left side, we've got Orange China Vanilla for a big size. Then we have Tumstep with a Cyan GLA Vanilla. Yeah, I'm expecting some big spam from Tumstep. <laughs> scoreboard actually do I need to scoreboard it uh is it three two yeah it is three two what you're joking about scoreboard it's actually three two now isn't it okay five war factories for Tumstead. five arms dealers rather Four for big size. Excal with five war factories into a second supply here. He's just going to do MTV spam again. And that is going to be a problem for the GLA. Technical for term step is a TNT, but he gets stopped. Gets a dozer at least. More or less pays for most of the technical. And the TNT is inside. Oh, this is being built. Search and destroy. Search and destroy is in play. Excal with a massive V-spam again. Into two drop zones straight away there for Excal. Size floating 12.6k as you do, but I think it's because he's going to spend more on MIG soon. He promises. Tumstep 
Tumstep needs to get his buggies out. Once he gets buggies and quads, he's going to wreck those Vs all day long. It would also be good if Tumstep, instead of wasting all these now, actually goes inside of that little fishing house. Why is he sending all the RPGs? What a waste. Huge waste there from Tumstep. Should have gone inside of there. Would have been beautiful for hitting those Chinooks. A lot of quads for Tumstep, but there's a lot of Vs, and the Vs will wreck the quads because the quads will automatically shoot the drones. Makes for Fargo coming in. I think actually, um, Excal should have built a particle before the drop zones. Unless he's telling uh, Fargo to make all the super weapons. Yeah, maybe he's doing that. We'll, meanwhile, Excal making the money, maybe. The quads are going to try and pick off an Avenger here. I think they're going to get it as well. Nick's coming in, too. Fargo making um, Infernos in the middle. Excal does get stopped. Surely going to be buggies out now. Don't even know what was going on there. That's a MIG, actually. Yeah, the buggies are out now. Fargo needs an amazing MIG hit on the buggies. Okay, nice mixture of long-range stuff there from Fargo. But size has got a lot of mix. Comes in, wipes out a lot of the army there of Fargo. Yeah, a real load of it, actually, with the Firestorm. And these buggies now going to go to work on these Vs. Nice work from Tumstep. Tumstep's GLA is a beast. Just in general. I mean, Tumstep's a bit of a beast... Anyway, but, um, yeah, I feel like his GLA USA is actually exceptionally good. Fargo with a flame wall there. Flaming the enemy units for once. <laughs> Makes for Fargo circling. I think they're trying to bait a pop. Not quite working for you for now. Now it is. But only three buggies went down. Nice MIG hit there from size. Some stuff making more and more markets. Yeah, Excal built three drop zones in total. I think all the oils are still intact. The players are getting to level 3 now, so you can start seeing carpet, artillery, um, A10. The, the minimap skin or the whole GUI is... You can see my tutorial. Um, how to install Zero Hour is a 6 minute tutorial. This link is in the description. Artillery did not kill the oils actually. Damaged it, but did not kill it. X got with a nice mix of units. It's got Avengers, Vs, Tomahawks. X got repairing those oils. Did the left side feel any pressure because this nuke from Fargo though? Size has 10k. Like he's always floating like 12k, 10k. He has a flamer inside of Fargo's base though. Well, Fargo flame wall from big size. Flame in his own outpost. A10 from Excal takes out the oil, but tumstead has been building up the markets nicely. He doesn't have an insane amount, but he does have like a quite a comfortable amount. Buggies here going a little bit too close to this army, to my liking. A number of the buggies getting taken out. Got a mine drop potentially from size. Size 
So Ice coming in with a MIG hit on the Wolf Hatcher there. Fargo takes it out. There's a lot of drop zones in play for Excal. Size causing some real problems with these flamers. Firebase being built there at the top. He's got a gap there as well. There's a few missile defenders that Excal could be laser locking with. Those flamers will get stopped anyway. It doesn't make too much of a difference. It is laser locking now, and all the flamers get stopped. Size running around with these mix still. Quite some veterancy on these units, though, especially those Avengers. So they're going to be pretty tanky. Nice hit there from some step. Predicting where the burn would be. So X guy is making a lot of drop zones, whereas um, he's probably told Fargo to not make hackers. The nuke is ready to fire. see it launch, but Fargo's not launching it just yet. Excal's beacon in where he wants it to fire. Fargo's not firing it. And maybe he's waiting for the Spectre. He's telling Excal to get in the damage tower. Some steps still with the buggies. Should get some stuff here, but the uh, Avengers and Tomahawk combo is kind of nice, actually, against this. Oh, so they waited for something to hit, and then they're going to nuke it. Okay. Although, it's kind of a bad nuke. Didn't do anything. Should have hit there. It didn't really do anything at all. It just put the market down to the hole, which will just rebuild. Yeah, these Avengers, when they're in a big blob like that, it's actually causing problems for the left team. But they are getting slowly picked off. Tomahawks come in. Particle cannon for Excal. If Tumstep can get himself to level 5, Anthrax Bomb here could be nice, but I suppose there's a ambulance there. You could have to pick up the ambulance too for it to cause maximum damage. Excal still has them oils alive. Size is roaming around the base with an outpost. Gas gets stopped. Outpost moving in deeper to the base. Make circling here at the top for size. Size does have an internet center. Artillery looks to be on the strat. Mix. Yeah, the strat does go down. Excal has 10k though, because he's built all these drop zones since the beginning. And he still has them two oils. Slice has one oil. Imagine a nuke on that army. The left team don't have a nuke. Maybe Sai should have built a nuke. When he had like 10k float earlier. He's still got 7k float. Okay, some nice hits. Carpet bomb gets stopped. Yeah, and some step... Uh I was having a hard time dealing with that, actually. He's still a way off level 5. 
So is Excal though. Excal's building more and more Vs. Some step attacking at the top. Mig's coming in for Fargo. Choosing not to hit, actually. Don't think they had bullets, maybe? Didn't have missiles? Size comes in. He is level 5 now, Size. He picks off that firebase. EMP could be legendary on that army. The MiGs come in and pick off a load of buggies. Carpet coming in for Fargo. It's actually quite a nice matchup, this. Buggies at the top still trying to break through. That's where the strat is, so it's quite an important area. But Fargo still has MiGs. Yeah, these uh, buggies have continually been annoying it there at the top. That strat is next to go down, I'm sure of it. So, Axcal kind of needs to be in a few places at once. Okay, so Tim Step going to commit to a big attack at the top. Mig. Getting shot down before it can reach its target. Bit of a trade off here. Remember, Tom Step is getting closer and closer to level 5, which means Anthrax Bomb could be very good. If you get a decent Anthrax Bomb on that army now, could be good. There's a lot of Avengers, though. Still, Excal got over 8k. Particle taking out markets. All important markets. They were all built in kind of a line as well. And the palace as well. And there's a Lotus just chilling. Size. EMP disabled some stuff, but not loads. Spectre for Excal and Particle for Excal. And the right side team now enjoy a full soup weapon lead. Size picks off a little bit. Of the Excal army, but Excal still has two oils there. Anthrax does not hit. Unfortunate there for Tim Step, but well played to Excal keeping all of these Avengers alive. Just shredding any air unit. Nuke is ready to fire for Fargo. Four particles now for Excal. Almost kills the internet center, but not quite. It's very, very low. In fact, I don't know if the radiation is going to kill it. I don't think so, though. I think Size maybe should have uh, made a nuke instead of the internet center. And maybe built it a lot sooner as well. Because at one point, size was floating like 12 to 13k or 14k or something. Nice carpet there from size. Did pick off like what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. About 8-ish units there of Excals. 
Exile still maintaining a beast of an army. He's still got two oils plus the five super weapon advantage. Yeah, the infrastructure of the left team seems to be getting wiped out slowly. Markets especially. And that was the prop that went down as well of Big Size. Sai still has one oil. Exile on two though. Yeah, Exile with his beast of an army. He's also got a particle ready in 8 seconds. A particle ready to fire now. A particle ready to fire in 20 seconds. So all of these markets are going to be feeling the pain. That internet center is now gone. Palace dead. Arms dealer's dead. I think Exile has done it. Sneak attack in the back from some step. There's a leaflet on it. Some step. Wait a second, then he'll pop. Yeah, pops now. Gonna try and take out the power of Excal. Excal is low power. Yeah, lots of powers picked off there. Can that buy him some time to do some stuff? Size applying pressure now at the front, doing what they can with what little they have against all the might of the right team. Which is basically just Excal. <laughs> Fargo still has a nuke. Excal rebuilding them powers as fast as he can, but he is still low power. Some step really could do with the anthrax bomb because there's no ambulance in that army again. Question is, can you even get it to land though? Because there's not many Avengers. But imagine if you reset that with an anthrax bomb. <clears throat> Suddenly you're like in a commanding position. But once Exile's power back on, well, I don't know. The, the base, the market to the left team is going to take some severe damage. Is that an EMP or a mind drop? EMP misses the target. Yeah, particles are slowly picking off arms dealers and markets. Size still flying around with these uh, mix. Needs to repair his only oil. Firebase gets stopped at the top. Dozer goes down with it. But this army is so bunched together. Some step coming in with his buggies. GG from size. Is he gonna give power spam to some step or is some step just gonna quit? He's thinking about it. He is making stuff. Here comes the anthrax bomb. I think uh, Xgal has seen it though. Okay, it does hit. It's going to be quite good, actually, because all the Avengers are there. That's what Temple Step has been needing for so, so long. A load of important stuff there for Excal got picked off. A-10 comes in. It's one of the arms dealers. Temple Step now has power, remember. Is he building markets, or is he just going to commit to an all-in attack here? I mean, even with that Anthrax bomb, though, it's still not winnable against all this money of Excal and all the particles of Excal. Them oils needed to be killed a lot sooner, I think. Maybe you do a build where you TNT that from the start. 
Some step is moving in with a top with a load of quads. It's an interesting game. The powers here are getting hit. But it's the it's the army of Tom Step that's gonna get reset again. Excal's making so many powers. Nuke is launched. I don't think it's possible anymore for the left team. Think that's 3-3, three, three, and they're going to do the reverse of this. <laughs> GG. What a game. That was actually really, really good. Okay, so now they need to do the reverse. I'm just going to go and grab a drink while we we'll wait. Okay. 3-3. Three, three. Okay, so on the right side, we have the USA Vanilla. Oh, wait, what the hell? Okay, so right side, we have the USA Vanilla for the Cyan player. This is a time step. Alongside him, we have big size, the Orange China Vanilla. Bottom left, we have the Jilly Vanilla. For the purple player, that is Excal. Alongside the blue player, that is the China Vanilla, that is Vargo.
Okay, variation in the build straight away. Um, size opting for more airfields. Fargo opting for more war factories. Excal going for five war factories and a palace. See you later. Alan is off to watch the UFC. Might tune in and watch that later. Heard about this crazy knockout or something. I will try to watch it. Okay, technical there for Excal does get stopped. Technicals. It's a technical spam basically for Excal. He's rushing through the middle. A bit into a flame wall though. He's taking quite a bit of damage there. Yeah, quite a lot of damage actually. Yeah, variation really because Tumstep was making quads in the previous game. Whereas Excal making technicals here. Some step with the fire bases, also making a particle cannon straight away. That I prefer, and he's making two drop zones as well. I wonder if he's uh, doing too much there though, because that's like what 10k there he's spending. There's a really good hit there for the size mix. But what's he doing though? He's hitting the supply of Excal. He could have just killed all of them technicals. He deems the supply more important. Okay. Excal now dropping down the Scud Storm. Timstep now going to apply pressure with the Vs, but the problem is all of them technicals will do good damage against the Vs. Timstep decides to stay and fight it. There's buggies helping out now as well. You see the size mix. Should have killed all of them technicals, then it would have been much easier for Tumstep. Instead, he picked off the supply. Excal's still got 8.7k, and that's primarily because he's got the uh, oils. But Tumstep has the oils too. There's a lot of scrap there for Excal to collect if he wants to. Yeah, size so picking off buildings. He's trying to get himself to level three, isn't he? That's what he's trying to do. But this is getting repaired, actually. Supply is going to get saved. Exiles remade his supply. Fargo could have rushed out a nuke and neutrons and give GLA power. Uh, I don't know if that would make that much of a difference though when you've got five war factories. Maybe it wouldn't actually. Yeah, this would be a perfect MIG hit. Some step keeps beaking in it, but size not hitting it just yet. I mean, if you kill all that with the MIG, some step's going to have a whale of a time just coming in. Hitting this uh, defenses with this big army. Those MiGs need to get that hit. But there is a Fargo army here. In the middle. Size kills everything except the Gats. So size does lose a MiG for it. I feel like Excal could be there helping out against that firebase. He's just chilling currently. He's making markets.
Carpet and artillery are going to hit the oils there. That belong to Excal, and they are taken out. Timstep looking to apply pressure now with his Vs. Oh, was that? What even was that? Was that a bomb truck? Don't know, but that was uh, pretty good, whatever it was. Hmm, has to be a bomb truck that I just completely missed. Excal bringing in his buggies. He's going a little bit too close to the Vs, though. Size again needs to be supporting with their MiGs, I think. Couple of defenses here and then support here with the MiGs. The MiGs would do really, really well. Just even two MiGs against them buggies would be good. Artillery is going to kill an airfield. Fargo can see everything because he's got the uh, outpost there. So X guy with a load of uh, load of buggies here. Yo, Dutch Smurf, welcome to the channel. Mix finally hitting these uh, these buggies here of X guy. Size so coming in with a mind drop. X guy with a nice technical around the back is actually picking off a load of mix. Really nice there from Excal. Basically killing all of the mix. Really painful there for size because they're twelve hundred dollars each. Who sponsored this? It's Ahmad Sabora. He sponsored the 1v1 challenge we had tonight, and he's also sponsoring this. Arco Cannon is ready. So I'm going to start with a few drop zones. Four drop zones actually in total. If I'm not mistaken. A Never Scared Storm being prepared by Excal. Carpet Bomb coming in for big size. I think he's going for the Scud. Doesn't reach though. Carpet from Fargo. Oh, this gets taken out. Close the tunnel. Some step coming in with the. Uh, sorry, uh, Fargo coming in with the mix. Picks off a bunch of some step stuff. Scud Storm ready for Excal. Uh, I'm not sure where that's going to be actually. Probably on the strat and the, the drop zones. I think it's probably the best target. Yeah. And the prop as well. Didn't get that last drop zone there. Size so entering the base with some units here at the top.
in terms of applying pressure now with the Vs at the front. Triple A 10 comes in and hits whatever that was. I don't know if it was the Palace rebuilding. No, Palace is here. Excal's mainly making quads now, but this V blob is actually having a lot of success here for Tempstep. He's gaining a lot of momentum. Excal with no oils. He has a few uh, markets. Search and destroy now deployed. I think that's a prime time to take that fight, actually, for Tumstep now. Plus, whatever's coming in there for size. That's a mind drop. Could be in front of the tunnel. If it is, it's a legendary mind drop. Yeah, it's really good. Tumstep should just rally everything at this now and attack move. That's, uh... Oh, carpet coming in. It's going to miss. Yeah, Tumstep playing like a beast. Making the USA work. Size is still in the cash there of Tumstep. I think just give all the money to Tumstep, actually, and just let him do this V-spam. Size needs to be doing stuff with this, though. He's just kind of chilling there. <laughs> Letting Tumstep do all the, all the hard work. Quad's coming in for Excal. Has to use the quads, because... Uh, the palace got killed by the particle. Particle's going to fire in 55 seconds, plus Sizer's nuke will fire in 30 seconds. I think the right side are going to take the lead again. He has all the upgrades, time step. Advanced training. And the toe upgrade. Oh, that's an Amphrax bomb, but he's already preemptively firing it. Well played there from time step. Really well played. Carpet bomb finishing off. The support powers in this game is just insane, isn't it? Plus fuel air bomb as well, okay. Shame about the time in there. Otherwise that palace would be dead, but I don't think it makes a difference. I think, uh, I think maybe the right team have won it anyway. MIGs are needed on this. Where's the uh, nuke here? Sneak attack from Excal in the base. Couple of quads. One quad escapes. Oh, it goes down. It's been stopped, actually. One more quad from Excal. He's going for the mix. That's Fargo's only chance to stay in the game, really, is that CC. I think Tempstep is going to commit to try and kill it. Oh, Size has now finally decided to send his flamers. They should have been coming ages ago. Not let Tempstep fight a 1v1 and then Size fight a 1v1. You want to make it a 2v1. So this flame is getting nothing done now by himself. See, there's MIG hits. Should have been happening a long time ago. The mines there <laughs> from Fargo. Damaging the Vs a lot. Particle going to go to work on the skirt. It's 11 seconds, 10 seconds. I don't know why he's moved off it, though. Five seconds, going to be close. Triple A 10 coming in as well. Yeah, I think the right team have done it this time. 4-3. Going to be a match point.
Bar goes out now. GG from Excal. GG from some step, GG from size. Has Fargo said GG all night in six out six and a half hours? I don't know. Right, I'm thinking either all air or stealth air. I'm thinking stealth air could be good. Stealth air on Lionheart. Okay, two is stealth, which is time step. Five is size, which is air, stealth air. Fargo is going to play stealth. Excal is going to play air. This could be kind of good, I think. I need to update the score four three. Okay, he's down in the south position. USA Air Force for the orange player. This is the Danish Dynamite. Big size. Alongside him, we have the GLA Stealth with the Cyan. This is Timmy Time, Time Step. Over on the right, we have the blue GLA Stealth. The Lithuanian Llama. This is Fargo. And up at the top. With, I know, perfect purple. This is the USA Air Force that is Excal. Well, Excal is going for... A lot of Vs. Size is going for one airfield and four war factories Vs. Fargo five arms dealers. All spread out though, kind of cute. Wonder if Excal will be able to stop these in time. Probably can stop one, maybe. Excal is actually... Uh, oh, he's going to give power to Tempstep. Legendary play there from Tempstep, actually. He's going to have power very, very fast. Shopping down the power on his CC. Size. Helping out Tempstep with the King Raptors. Fargo going to apply pressure through the middle. Size bringing his Vs over as well. Don't think Timstep expected the uh, V spam, actually. Search 
Search and destroy fully loaded Vs for size is actually kind of a big brain play. Because Xcal has opted for the MTV spam. And fully loaded Vs are pretty good against that. Size is front from Fargo is getting attacked. Xcal has got him completely distracted at the minute. Size holds the front. Palace is nearly finished. Power and CC in play. The Tome Step doesn't have his front. He does have a worker here, however. Size coming in with the Raptors. Picks off the strong V. Carpet Bomb coming in. x -Kyle seems to be very good in 50k. He's played a lot of games... Of 50k. Sai's trying to hit the power. He's also hitting the strat. I don't know if that's going to kill it though. Oh, it does kill it. Okay, so that does change things a lot. And now the buggies are out as well. But size is taking damage at his front now. Some step desperately needs to get on that. And he also needs to build this tunnel, but... Xcal seems to have not spotted that tunnel. I thought he had for a second if he was heading there. Apparently not. Think they could maybe group up and attack there. Spectre from big size. Hitting these two buildings. A10 coming in from Xcal. Size holds his front. Been the next big wave though from Fargo. Could be finishing a uh, big size. He's taking a lot of damage there actually. Oh, Fargo has CC as well. Fargo has air too. Interesting. Sells one of his arms dealers. Fargo now with another big attack. Colonel Burn picks off the uh, oil. And the other oil's already dead, actually. And Fargo's next big attack is coming in. King Raps is going to take out the Battle Buster. And that A10 is legendary from size. How did he predict that? Combat Shadouk from Xcal gets picked off, though. But it is uh, killing a lot of buggies there for Tumstep. Tumstep's economy is hurt quite a lot. Because he's not had that front pretty much the whole game. AD says Xcal. <laughs> but if you've got Vs with drones against Vs with drones, five wall factories against five wall factories, 1v1, USA Vanilla, whatever. Are you doing AD then as well? Are you not manually targeting as well? Are you not manually targeting the... The Vs, or you're always just shooting the drones. Surely you're manually targeting. So it's not just AD. It's AD, drag a box and target. AD, drag a box and target. Is it not that? <laughs> well, Tom Step has been completely overrun here by the V spam. GG from some step. GG from size. Yeah, well played. Dominant performance there from the right team. But mainly it's all x -Gal really, isn't it? With the five war factories. He knows exactly how to play that.
Okay. <clears throat> um. Marco says, yes, it's AD click, AD click. Okay, four tanks, last match. Okay, two and four need to be together. I think they're going to be rushing out nukes here to get the upgrades. Oh, I got a serious error. Interesting. Blame Tumstab. Bug abuse.
Does serious error still happen with gem patcher? I think serious error just happens sometimes regardless. No matter what patch, or what third party hack you're using. <laughs> um, I think serious error is just something that happens. To be honest. Wonder if Napalm Mix would be good here too. Like three war factories, two full airfields. Something like that. Over on the right side, China tank for time step. The cyan color. Top right. China tank for size with the orange color. On the left side, we have the blue player. China tank, which is Fargo. Bottom left for the purple China tank, which is Excal. Excal's making a barracks first. Yeah, two airfields, three war factories. I literally just called that. Some step is opting for the old five war factory spam. I think if size does the same. And they literally just spam everything. I think that could maybe overwhelm the left team. It depends how efficient those MiGs are going to be from x -Gal. I have no doubt, actually, they're going to be uh, super solid. This uh, building cluster is all a bit close together, though. So, like, artillery between there, carpet between there later on could cause a problem. We shall see. Prop also being built by x -Gal. Fargo with five war factories. So size with four war factories, prop and a um, airfield. Yeah, expect a monster tank battle here in the middle of coastline walled. First blood will be a size dozer going down actually. Excal trying to pick off this oil from the very beginning. Quite smart that actually. Let's get it. Yeah, I think Excal with the mix here. Could be pivotal. They could come in here and pick off any building they wanted to, really. Could also come here and pick off a load of uh, battle masters. Yeah, the right team are going to need a lot of gats in here because that MIG strike now could really dish out some damage. And it does. Excal killed three battle masters there, if I'm not mistaken. Two nukes up for Temp Step, though. Will the right side team be able to hold? Until them nukes get to fire, we shall see. Excal and size also now with a nuke. Fargo. Oh, Fargo's actually got a flamer in his base. Oh my god. What a legendary play there from size, and they haven't seen it. His whole base is going to die. But uh, is size microing the wrong thing, though? That's the question. Because size is getting uh, obliterated out the front, and I think Timstep might have invested too many in uh, in nukes. Size's whole base has been taken out. 
by a single flamer with a helix. <laughs> but the problem is, though, this is too much. The right side team just didn't have enough army out, despite having four war factories and five war factories. Some step spending uh, 10k on nukes just wasn't quite the right thing to do. He does have all the upgrades. Artillery coming in, trying to stop this stuff. Fargo's base has kind of been gutted, so if they can hold, it could be okay. But can they hold? That's the question. Fargo's done a tank drop on the uh, oil. And the right side team are holding. Zai still has that supply, which is very important. Fargo has no base. <laughs> Some step still has the refinery, so these vehicles are really cheap. And they, the right side team both have the tank upgrades, so it <laughs> could get very interested. These MiGs, though, finishing the GATs. There's no anti air on the right now. Uh, EMP misses the target. As far goes. Simstep needs to pick off as many of these battle masters as he can to get himself up to level 5. X-Cal's actually got the least XP now. But just like one more strike with the MiGs could uh, even that up for sure. Mig's coming in for x -Count now. Let's pick off a number of things. Oh, mines. These two battle masters in the back, though, are killing the nuke, and Size hasn't really realized about it. EMP from size misses the target. He tried to bait out that army, but he was too fast with the EMP. The nuke for size is getting picked off. Oh. Yeah, the, the mix can just get free hits all day long. Especially since they're getting veterancy from killing the battle masters, they become harder and harder to kill and dish out more damage. Fargo's now finally back in the game, having rebuilt his base from that helix drop. Size finally clears up his base. It's two nukes against two nukes. The two nukes belonging to Tumstep for the right team. Artillery's killed two trucks out of Excal. Exile making a few hackers. Yeah, Mig's gonna come in again and get another massive hit. It's just free kills with the Mig's and they just get more and more veterancy as well. They become harder and harder to kill. Tumstep does have an uh, upgrade advantage, but doesn't have that much anti-air in it. N these gats need to come forward for size. They could do a nice time in here with the nukes like on the airfield combined with the ground assault. Could be good. Megs again, though. Plus the carpet. The tanks are mostly surviving. But they are taking enormous damage, though. Size moving. <laughs> He's dropped a flamer again with the helix. Oh, my God. The two nukes are going to be ready to fire a time step. EMP comes in for x -Gal. Doesn't really do that much. x -Gal having to go back to defend here. Mix coming in again from x -Gal. These MiGs are really dishing out some crazy damage, but the tanks... Are still alive. Two nukes ready to fire literally now. Fargo's desperately trying to hang in there. Some step killing the war factories, the carpet bomb moving in. Where's the nuke? Oh, he's a legendary nuke. <laughs> Just wiped out Excal off the map with one nuke. What a legendary nuke. And the other nuke needs to be on one of the airfields, I think. 
But Tomestep's army's been wiped out as well. What the hell was? Oh, he hit the oil. Okay, I thought he was going to hit the airfield, to be fair, but he didn't. Size doing good damage hit the top as well. Carpet bomb comes in, hits the airfield. Excal pretty much only has an airfield now. What an insane game. It really looked like the left team had it. Fargo's been defeated. Size with the Helix flame of play, man. What a game, what a set. Excal has a nuke to fire. I think he's there. Size has three more Battlemasters here. Excal CC is being taken out. There's nothing Excal can do. He doesn't have any units out. GG's, well played. GG's. GG's. What a last game that was. You really thought Excal and uh, Fargo had it. And I actually think Excal's strat of going for the mix was better. But maybe Fargo just needed to stop this Helix with a flamer in his face. Oh, man. One man, one Helix, one flamer in a dream. And Fargo, uh, Fargo's whole base is on fire from Sizer's dream. GG, well played. Really uh, nice set. And a nice seven-hour stream as well. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to end it there, boys. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Hopefully you enjoyed it. What a set. I'm going to check the uh, check the replay, actually. It's so, like, what caused them to lose? Like, from here, from this point, it really looks like that team has got it. But this Flamer... But, like, what forced this army back? I suppose they got a nice concave. Size coming from here. Some step from here. Because it really looked like they had it. Because these two battle masters reckon that oil too. But then I suppose they got all the upgrades. Some step had two fast nukes. So I think it's Size's helix play. To change that game, it really stopped Fargo a lot. I mean, yeah, the the, the mix were working out good, but the fast upgraded tanks were really good as well. And I think, uh, yeah, that Helix Flamer combo. Everyone's just gone straight offline. <laughs> I wonder if uh, Fargo's blaming Excal or Excal's blaming Fargo or how that how that chat's going. Right, GG, well played. Cheers for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, really long stream, longest one in a while. So, uh, yeah, GG, and I'll see you very soon. Maybe we'll be back tomorrow, actually. I'm, I'm free all tomorrow, so maybe uh, got time to make some videos or some time to uh, do some streams. We'll see. GG, and uh, see you next time.